And then yeah, all you need to do is create children and dump all those problems on them <laughs> and benefit. Guys, you're spoiling my entire arc. Stop <laughs> it! <laughs> <laughs> it's alright. You can blame it all on us. I'm sure that's cool. <laughs> so. Alright, yeah. we're live. Go for it, man. Alright, well, welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade. Uh, I am Scott, and I am lur I'm luring all of you into a dark, shady corner of the internet called... Dungeons no, Vampire the Masquerade, sorry. Ooh. Um... <laughs> slip up there and all right um let's just get into it i don't have any cool announcements or anything um does anybody want to recap the previous session or just yes. recap in general i do all right i'm Scott, not throwing a knife in until you guys fight just do it all right if you will if you will share with everybody uh blake's bujo day three okay is that Oh, okay, this is not in order. My bad. Yeah, I put it up, I put it next to the team one, so if people wanted to swap back and forth, they could. Because okay. these are the ones that I have the thing. So much. It's so good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Um we can if there's ever a time where Jay would write in it, we can share the Canva thing. Oh no, it's all you. It's good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um So we woke up for our third day of being kindred. Uh, and woke up hungry. Blake really wanted to know what other members of the Coterie tasted like, and figures Jay's the good first victim once he finally gets out of the bathroom doing whatever it was he was doing. They decide to experiment, drinking from other kindred, and end up creating an Ouroboros of nobody's getting fed and Blake is very frustrated because she's not human enough as a vampire to enjoy the other aspects of what they were doing. Uh, that is then explained to her by Evelina, uh, and she makes a note that to avoid Sahara-like situations, she needs to get more humanity. Uh, she's quite salty about this. Or perhaps you could say Sandy about this. Uh, Evelina also has a job for us, uh, picking up a shipment uh, that is in Anarch territory, bringing it back. We decide, sure, let's do that. But before we do that, we create our Chronicle Tenets, which I forgot to put in the journal, but we have. Um, that'll be there shortly. Um, we then go to Portsmouth, to this Anarch ter territory. We must stop by a bar named Wally's, which is a villainous hive of scum and white trash. And Meet an Anarch gang led by Terry. Resolution. We owe their crew a favor. And they let us pass through. We pick up the shipment. March wouldn't let us look at the cargo, which is probably the best move, but still disappointing. Uh, Blake is very sad about it. Uh, Jay and Rain d d are driving the truck back, while Marsh and Blake take the car. And of course, Chad, the ghost with the cell phone, is in the backseat of the car. I believe that is a concise... Description of every, of the, the shenanigans. Oh, that is very concise and appreciated. I will just so that way we don't. Oh, Jay did course. also pick up wings and uh, left some wing sauce on her bujo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fair enough. Just so that way we don't tarnish uh, Portsmouth. The the bar itself was in uh, yes, Hampton I, Beach. Oh, it was in Hampton Beach. I'm well, Portsmouth sorry. is where the shipment was, so I don't want to insult I, we had to stop by. My bad. Scum. <laughs> it really and is. Trashery. Okay. It's on, it's on their website, so. Yeah. <laughs> um, I live there, so I, I, I can say I can I can agree and say it, and not, I do not feel at all bad. If anybody wants to stab me, feel free. Mm. Um, <laughs> just for the quick review, and I will throw in where uh, like Marsh has written out our tenants. Uh, but our tenants are: do not harm the innocent, help those who can be helped. Hold on to our humanity and old lives as much as we can. Learn what we can of kindred society and work it to our advantage. So, there we go. There are tenants. Yes. Indeed. Thank you for going over those. That is actually something I was going to do was review those, so perfect. Um, uh, but yeah. Uh, we find ourselves in two separate vehicles. Haha. <laughs> Uh, with uh, what we we have Jay and, and Rain are driving the truck while Marsh and Blake are in the car. 
Perfect. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> um, all right. Fair enough. Uh, get in. You get yourself set and ready to go. You uh, head off. Uh, you imagine that there's, pr you know, depending on how fast you're going with said vehicle, it'll be about an hour, hour and a half or so um, to drive to your the destination that you were given uh, to drop this truck off. Uh, along the way, I, I must, I must ask, uh, who controls the radio slash music devices of the vehicles, and what is being played? <laughs> It all depends on what Jay is going to put on. <laughs> That's all Rain is worried about. Oh, um, no, I think Jay, as a social experiment, trying to get, trying to solve the mystery of Rain, is going to sit back and see what Rain puts on the radio. <laughs> so we might just ride in silence <laughs> if neither of us <laughs> put anything on the radio. But that, too, will teach me what I need to know. <laughs> After like a minute or two, you see uh, Rain, Rain. Rain looks over at that awkward silence and uh, nods and turns the radio on and keeps searching until he finds a hard rock metal station and cool. just leaves it there. Fair enough. All right. Uh, so, is it PvP to keep using mental powers against the other vampires? <laughs> Uh, uh, t technically, but if the players are okay with it, it's a little bit more acceptable in these kinds of games. Just, okay. you know, player well, consent. Uh, obviously, heightened senses is on. Uh, for Always. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Always checking for ghosts. Always checking for ghosts. But I was going to try and scry the soul. Go for it. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Um, I just hit this button. All right. And then a thingy popped up. And it says hunger dice, and then difficulty, and then roll mode. All right. Okay. So J um, just roll it. <laughs> just, just hit the button. Hit the roll button. <laughs> yeah, just hit the roll button. Okay. I only rolled one die. Uh, well, that's rousing the blood. Uh, so to is, use that now, is that now what I'm doing? I'm just trying to do. I'm just trying to do scry soul. Uh, uh, yeah, so when you scry the soul, you have to make a rouse check. Oh, okay. Uh, so, <laughs> alright, let me see, what what does that put us at for hunger? You To hunger three? Alright. Okay. The, the, she, the sheets are a little different, it looks like they fancied them up a little, made them easier to read. Hmm. I would just appreciate it. Um, so as you, uh, you start, <laughs> you start to scry the soul and you're, you're, you're looking, you're looking at, uh, this boy right here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, you see that exposed chest and that, and you just hear the voice, uh, the voice of Keanu Reeves and, and, your, and inside your mind and in your blood. It's like, you, you've already, you've already tried, uh, you know, Blake, I mean, but what about him? Mm -hmm. He'd be much tastier, I think. Only if it's consensual. Sure. Otherwise, I'm forbidden to feed. I read some of the rules. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I'm gonna. Uh, so, does this mean that this possible best you'll fail? So, if I fail, am I just gonna like no. lunge at him while he's driving? Uh, no, you don't get oh. best deal failures on rousing the blood. Uh, it's just. Uh, okay. Yeah. Um. So you you just feel really you just feel quite a bit hungrier. You know you mm -hmm. can really eat well, I threw and up uh, rain in the alley right before we left. <sighs> yeah. Uh, rain's looking pretty tasty. Um. Uh. But now you make your intelligence plus aspects versus uh rain's composure and subterfuge. <laughs> I feel like you are probably good at both of those things, rain. So this is gonna be a pretty tough roll. All right. Not bad actually. Yeah. Not bad. Yeah. All right. Intelligence plus Ah, aspects. Yeah. Go. All right. Can, and there's no other attribute, right? It's just intelligence plus aspects. There's a. There's uh, a yes. Lesson. Okay. All right. Um. Oh right. shit! Nice. Oh, oh, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> so what's a messy critical mean when you're like? reading people do i get stuff i maybe wasn't fishing for or <sighs> all right well that would uh <laughs> that that varies depending so okay. messy criticals 
All right, let's see what our messy critical. Gain one or more stings, a masquerade breach, lose advantage dot, or fail the test. Uh, all right. So, what do we think sounds appropriate? Um, so, hmm. I don't know, you're, you're pretty, pretty hungry. Um, so... And Raid is driving, right? Is that... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I think I think uh, an appropriate messy critical is you know that the only way you can really understand his soul is by just taking a quick bite. Oh, but that goes against my other stuff. Mm, it so... does, it's a struggle. So, um, <laughs> you can, I'll allow you to burn and you can take a point of aggravated willpower damage to, uh, uh, as as like your cost, uh, basically you you uh, basically take full damage to your willpower uh, okay. to to hold off on feeding on him uh -huh. and trying to focus. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to break my uh, my consensualist thing. Nor mm. nor do I want to actually PVP another party member. So I'll take I'll take the hit for sure. Yeah. What does aggravated look like? Is that the one with the X? Yeah, that's the X. Okay. I got it. All right. Now do I get um, to ask these questions? Uh, yeah, no, I, I, absolutely. Okay. Um, <clears throat> um, Rain, are you a vampire? <laughs> uh, I am. I am a kindred. Right. Yes. All right. You are. You are allowed to ask five questions. <laughs> five questions. Okay. Shit. Um, are they any five questions? Truthfully, answers uh, a number of questions, including. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, equal to the margin. Equal to the margin roll, so five questions. Okay, well, I don't want to really ask you a vampire. That's silly. If I only have five questions. All right. Um, emotional state of the subject. Uh, Rain is uh, he's he's calm. He's relaxed. He's in his element, but you can feel he's a little giddy, a little excited of be of being out doing uh sh shenanigans. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um, I would, well, definitely wasn't a critical win. Um, okay. Can I figure out, uh, surface, like, surface feels that Rain has about Jay? Is that, is that within the range of questions? That was actually a critical win. Oh, so. that's a critical oh, one? Nice. <laughs> Messy oh. criticals are still oh, critical oh, okay, win. okay, sweet. Yeah, okay. Um, well then, I'll, I'll save question five for Scotrick to reveal. Uh, because it says something unexpected as determined by the storyteller. So question number two is the general vibe Rain has towards Jay. You can probably feel that Rain is a little wary. He's uh -huh. a little a little uh, off guard. But, I mean, he gets a little taken aback by Jay's directness. Oh. But but you can feel that uh, he kind of has like a, a mentoring. Like he kind of sees you like someone he could like. <laughs> like he, he, no, no ill feeling. Okay, okay. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Um, how does Rain feel, you know, just the surface, how does Rain feel about, um, uh, Marsh? He, he actually res respects Marsh, uh, cause mm. he kinda is involved in, uh, what Rain likes to do, and it seems like Marsh has a little more, uh, gravitas in the underworld okay. than Rain does. Fair, fair, okay. Alright, hmm... Mm. Let's see. And then surface thoughts about Blake. Rain, Rain has given uh, Rain has given her a look or two, but he's also wary because he doesn't like people. And just like with Jay, he's wary with Jay because he doesn't like people that are very upfront, mm. loud, and very uh, direct. He oh, he's very wary about people like that. So he's interested. He likes her, but he's just waiting to see what happens. Nice, nice. Okay, I'll leave question five up to to storyteller Scotcher. Hmm, that is a ha. Huh, that is a good question. This is about a PC, so it's a little trickier for me. Um, something unexpected about Rain. Um, hmm. Ah, oh, that's a, actually. I feel like I have to ask Rain that question now. Okay. That's why I have to be. <laughs> what's something unexpected that we dig up uh, on accident? Yeah. On accident. Yeah, you know. Uh, yeah, dig it into your brain, and we accidentally like unearth a nugget that we didn't know was there. All right, so so you probably get a feeling that uh, uh this kind of runs with his backstory, but you, Rain acts very tough, very quiet, very reserved, distant, but but 
inside he actually is uh very caring and oh. you could, you probably he doesn't like people to know but he's still like well, not now because he's he's a fucking he's a kindred but before when he was doing cr crimes and stuff he would go back and like take care of his people and maybe like drop off food or drop off money and just but he would not let them know it was him just to help people out that he cared about wow okay all right all right i'm done here i'm done here <laughs> all right <laughs> Um, that, that, so, so indirect, not at saying anything about rain. Jay just looks out the window and says, "I wonder what's going on in the other car." <laughs> <laughs> you, you think that? Uh, <laughs> the camera starts to pan away, but then it snaps back because Sam is AFK. <laughs> yeah, because Sam's AFK. <laughs> oh, 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 my bad, my bad. It is just... But in the meantime, you know what I hate, rain. When people are like all up in my face about stuff, you don't always have to be so direct, you know what I mean? And you just keep staring out the window, not making eye contact. <laughs> Rain, Rain literally <laughs> looks over, raises one eyebrow, and like, no, I, that's that's true. That's yeah. uh, as 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 Metallica is playing on the radio. <laughs> What's up? Do you uh, ride the lightning? Nice, all right, good nice. choice. Good choice. <laughs> <laughs> and, he, and he looks over and uh you think uh you think blake's trying to bite uh marsh yet and then rain giggles a uh, like check us a little ah uh, uh no jay, jay cool as a cucumber realizing that this is big cat energy he's dealing with not big wolf energy he does not make eye contact because that's how you that you you keep cats curious in you as you act like you don't care about them. <laughs> and he just keeps staring out the window kind of bored and he's like, uh, I don't know. I think you're next on the menu. He just stares out the window. <laughs> <laughs> and and, Re and Rain and looks over like uh, you you if you if you look over a little bit, he gives you a little bit of a smirk, but then he stays quiet and serious, mm. turns up the radio a little bit more, and and then just uh, keeps driving. Alright, fair enough, fair enough. Fair enough. Um, uh, out of curiosity, uh, which is it? Is the truck in the front, or is the car in the front? I think the I, truck I was, was behind us. That's what I wanted to ask. Yeah. yeah. So I, I was. So are we follow? We're following you, Marship. Yeah. Oh, perfect. So Jay gets to see the the ghost of Chad in the back seat the whole time, <laughs> just recording. <laughs> Um, fantastic. Um, I like how you guys got a fifth tag along, just like, <laughs> from session one. This uh, way, if anybody <laughs> does want to join, they'll just make a Wraith the Oblivion character and play as Chad, and then they'll be, mm. you know, they've already <laughs> been there the whole time. Yeah, that's fair. Um, <laughs> let's see. We got a pretty good tight-knit group. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right, so, uh, I'm, uh, all right, uh, you're driving, uh, for, for, a, for a little bit, um, but... Uh, you know, potential complication arises. Uh, before, when you were driving up, uh, this was closed and wasn't even worth noting. But on the way back with your semi truck, you see that there is a way station that is open. Mm. Now, I guess since Marsh is in the front driving, the question is, what is does Marsh go into the way station, or do you? Do you drive past? Do you reach out to your fellows? What is your choice? Uh, quick question for somebody who's never left your hometown. What's a way station? Oh, it's where, uh, it's basically where the state cops will stop large trucks to make sure that they're not trafficking anything they're not supposed to, oh. as well as making sure the truckers, <laughs> to make sure that truckers are keeping their log books in, <laughs> in order. Uh, <laughs> and, yeah, it can also work as a, as a rest stop, depending on the area that you're in. Yep. Uh, okay, so if Marsh, like, stops there somewhere, it wouldn't be seen as suspicious. Like, if you wanted to stop and give the, um, team truck a chance to talk their way out of here. Uh, yeah, yeah, if you were to pull in, nobody would question it. Um, I've All right. stopped at many a way station in a car before, following trucks or being in the lead of trucks. Uh, yeah, so Marsh will pull up at the way station, find a place to park, and basically, he will be on standby 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 if things get ugly and blake will be on standby i assume if they need social help but he's gonna try to let rain and jay handle it on their own 
as soon as uh, as soon as uh, Rain sees the the wait station, uh, you just uh, Jay. He looks at Jay. And he's like, "Fuck." Uh, I I hope he can seduce whatever cops there. Uh, they don't stop every single vehicle, like they. But you know, you have to go through them by law. <laughs> And uh, we see uh, we see uh, Marsh pull over, yeah. Yeah. So by law, we slowly get off the uh, in the station, and we start pulling up. All right, you start pulling up. The you know the little green, green light, uh, you know, to to, to move. Uh, there are there is another vehicle, and you know besides uh, the car that is in the front, and it moves along, and uh, they pass through with little issue. Uh, you roll on up, uh, stop where you need to, I assume. If you, ch if at any point I'm doing a dialogue, uh, or a narration that doesn't feel fitting for your character, please interrupt me and tell me that you are going to cause more problems. I am here for it. Um, you roll up. <laughs> you roll Sorry, uh, Rain, Rain is definitely following every single little thing you said, especially because we didn't open the truck, so he doesn't know what he has, because he, he might risk <laughs> a high-speed chase, depending on if we knew what it was in the back or not. Alright, fair enough. Uh, you, you, uh, pull up, you stop, uh, a state police officer comes on out, uh, goes up, basically... Uh, ha has you, uh, rolled out your window, wants to talk to you? Slowly rolls it down. Good uh, evening, officer. Uh, evening. Alright, this is pretty standard routine stuff. Now, Scott's never actually talked to anybody, so we're just gonna pretend that I know what I'm talking about. Um, <laughs> so, uh, just, uh, you know, standard routine operation here. Uh, first up, uh, which you, you know, asks you for, like, you know, your license, you know, your your driver's license, the one that you use for hauling and semi trailers. This is, this is at the this is at the truck the truck window, right? This guy is. Uh, yeah. Well, there's some height to the truck, right? So is this cop like talking up at us or? Uh, yeah, he's he stepped up. You know. Is it a he's, cop he's a... or is it is it just a no state police officer? officer? Oh, state police. Fuck. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's asking for your he's asking for your, you know your uh, uh, whatever it's called. What is it like? Um your a license or whatever yeah it, it's yeah. different here but i know exactly what you're talking about yeah like your, now, your if, big big truck license if if rain has one it, that commercial i i have fine license, right commercial, commercial truck license, license. yeah okay yeah if you have it then i i will believe you but would rain have one hold on hold on hold on i'm looking at the things that i have so, so i can pull, pull something out of my ass All right. Uh, let's. Could I? Could I use this ability and say Rain has sword? Rain has uh, hauled before. Oh yeah, absolutely. That's why. That's why you have these features, so you could use them to uh, bullshit your way through every problem. Gasp. <laughs> yeah, you, <laughs> he has struck before. Yeah, he has. He has gone uh, across state lines, uh, delivering certain goods for someone before. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right, commercial drivers. All right, you got it. Uh, he, you know, he's just gonna run this through. He's gonna ask for your log book to make sure that you are, dri you know, following all the, all the, you know, you're not driving too much or anything like that. Uh, if you are, if you have driven, theoretically, if you were doing this mission, I would be fine believing that you had already filled out anything that just in case. Um, that because you, <sighs> you, you side hustle have your commercial driver's license, so. <laughs> He does, he does. I want to say that, that Rain wouldn't have because he's so confident on, the, on, on what we're doing tonight, but and fuck, that. like, fuck. But, he, and when would he have filled it up? We just picked up the truck. We just picked it up. Oh, I have, I have a plan. A, Je a Jedi mind trick plan. <laughs> Go right ahead, Jay. Okay, so... Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like climb over the seat right do we have a bucket seat up front like do we do we have a bench or are we or is it two bucket seats in this truck two it's two bucket seats uh okay. it's, it's got a sleeper in the back it's actually pretty nice all right it's gonna be kind of awkward um uh, all right i'm gonna i'm gonna yell i'm gonna call out the window i'm gonna be like uh i'm gonna be like hey i'm co i'm, I'm co-driving here 
Uh, I got I got the sheet if you want it. Uh, can you come around the other window? <laughs> or should, um, I, should I get out? Uh, no, I just ran in the vehicle. Uh, you can pass it along to your right there. I mean, he's looking right at you. It's not. You know, it's oh, not he can see us. How is he <laughs> yeah. seeing up into the trunk? I thought this was kind of a no, no. Trunk. He st he stepped up onto you know where you oh, stepped on the trunk. Oh, he's on the uh, little step. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> so Jay's gonna Jay's gonna lead over to him, and uh, he's gonna whisper, "Forget," uh, and your victim will forget the last few minutes of their life. Uh, and then, right afterwards, he's gonna say, uh, so yeah, as you can see, everything's in order. Uh, thanks for double checking for us, though. Uh, and hopefully that, the guy will just think that he spaced out for a second. Nice! Ah, fair, fair enough. Um, against a victim who's actively trying to resist. Let me read the actual feature, because okay. I think that's shorthand. Not because I'm trying to screw you, but I want to make sure we oh, play yeah, by the rules right. honestly. Sure, sure. <laughs> Um, most likely your dice pool for this is far stronger than anything this dude's got, but let's check. Um, so this is under dominate abilities, and naturally the, bo the book that marks on this are wrong. So I have to travel 50 pages. Um, so dominate, forget, cloud memory. Alright, yada yada yada. No new memories are formed. Blah blah. blah. No roll is per no roll is required against an unprepared mortal victim. Well, they are not prepared. Hell yeah. Uh, so you uh, you succeed, and there's no rouse check. So he, he just forgets, and you're like, uh, uh, and just trying to remember, and like, of course, he, he, uh, this is a dude who uh, is obviously the boss. So he doesn't want to look like a fool. Yeah. He doesn't remember anything. So he's like, yeah, yeah, like I said, everything's in order. And he just like, <laughs> he gives you back your, uh, he's like, oh, here, he gives you back your commercial driver's license and uh, uh, lets, you, lets you move on without asking the question I was going to ask, uh, of course, <laughs> that you wanted to avoid in the first place. So I, I you're mean, free to go. Yeah, I don't even remember what question that was. It, was, it all happened so yeah. fast. Mm, yeah. Uh, so he, he uh, ushers you along. Uh, problem solved. Hell yeah. As, as Rain starts getting the, the truck uh, driving, he literally like grabs Jay by the neck and he's like, that was, that was cool. Right? Some Jedi mind shit right there. Oh yeah, that was cool. I, I would have never gone to jail if I had that. Yeah, yeah, well, I don't think you could go to jail anymore, so we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to come up with more <laughs> stuff like that. Cause I don't think, yeah, I don't think that's gonna go too well. Especially if you get a cell by the window. Yeah. All right. Sweet. <laughs> Rain has a huge smile. They're probably the happiest you've seen him since you met him, and he's just like kind of laughing, and he's pulling out of the weight stuff. Jay resumes. Yeah. Like, Jay resumes looking out the window, allowing himself a small smile, like <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> looking through Chad. To Marsh and Blake, <laughs> <laughs> which are who are listening to what music played on by whom? <laughs> uh, yeah, I was gonna say earlier, Marsh was probably the one to turn on the radio, and since it's uh, a car from his boys and everything, it was probably on like a blues station or something like that. Oh, okay. uh, I was gonna say Beastie Boys, but okay. <laughs> That's acceptable. Classic rock, also acceptable. Oh, that was my my other idea, actually. <laughs> so they're, they're I mean, just, just some, some sort of like neutral. It's not Muzak, but it's also like nobody has like an ev like a hatred reaction to it. You know, it's like at most yeah. you're just kind of like, yeah, whatever. But yeah, Marsh definitely turned it down while they were parked at the way station, making sure Rain and Jay were getting through. And after seeing them go through uh, the the checkup and everything, Marsh will kind of like seem visibly relieved and a little bit surprised that it didn't turn to a shit show and he will <laughs> put his gun away and, and start following the, the truck again <laughs> well to 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 explain because sam had to go afk i'm gonna say this is when blake was like taping the wally's menu into her bujo like you know sitting in the passenger seat so she was not paying attention to anything <laughs> um oh, fair uh, to note, Chad, who only Jay can see, does not appreciate the music. <laughs> well, he wouldn't, but who cares? Um, but anyway, so yeah, so probably right around that time that happens, like, there's just a satisfied, like, she is satisfied with her layout and her bujo, so it's like she closes it. 
Which has been that that went well. Surprisingly. I really expected Jay to make a mess of it. I think he's getting the hang of it. Uh, now that he's learned to keep his inside thoughts inside. Well, maybe there's hope for him yet. There's... He's like a puppy. You have to house train. Yeah, I was gonna say, you could almost hear like a hint of pride in the way he said that, weirdly. Uh, but uh, at the puppy comment, he just kind of like chuckles and nods. And uh, he's gonna turn the music back up, not like drown her out or anything, but he's not... He's, he's not gonna start any conversation. Um, Blake will probably reach out and kind of like stop like his hand. Like, I don't know how old this car is, like if you can do it on the steering wheel or not. But... It just kind of stop him and say, so you had a point with not messing with the cargo. I'm just so thank you for that. I am insanely curious, though. Uh, you think I'm not at least a little curious? But here's the thing. We're just starting out. This is what? Night three? This is not the time to be satisfying her curiosity when bigwigs like the boss lady are involved. For uh, Blake, now. Oh, sorry. Blake kind of scrunches her face. It's like the like no scrunchies of like, huh? Because like with her hunger and everything, I don't think she understands how to not satisfy her curiosity. <laughs> She's like. Is, how do you do that? Because I learned how to not do what you do a long time ago. And uh, he's going to pause for a second and kind of have this look of like, eh, should I just fucking say it? And eventually decides to just like not even pretend to hide anything anymore. And he's just like, look, this whole kindred thing, this Camarilla especially, it's not all different, not all that different from a mob. And when you are a fucking fresh recruit, like we are, poking your head into your boss's stuff is just asking to get whacked. Fair point, fair point. I suppose it's more my job has been getting into people's business reporter that sort of thing as Sam tries to remember what Blake sounds like <laughs> and uh, no offense meant but that's one of the reasons why I did not support you as leader no I didn't support me as leader either that would be a terrible <laughs> idea I don't know why anyone thought that would be a good idea honestly I think Jay was just licking your boots There. She gets a wistful look and is like, if only I could derive any sort of pleasure. <laughs> oh, and since we're being all touchy feely, thank you for, you know, supporting me and putting my name forward. I didn't want to, uh, you know, vote for myself, kind of thing. That's kind of adorable. What? You're welcome. I don't know, a hitman with some sort of humility? I don't know. I just would have expected your type to be the put yourself out there. Seize power. What do you mean my type? I've met guys like you. I mean, you are surprising me at every turn, so I should probably not stereotype. But, you know. <laughs> wise guys. I guess that's fair. <laughs> I guess that's fair, but uh, the wise guys who act like the ones you're thinking of, they don't make it as long as I did. 
Also a fair point. I've always been the, uh... What's the, the trope that they use in the shows? Fixer, I guess. I handle other people's problems. I get a little bit of authority. I can run a tight little gang. But I don't tend to reach much farther than that. You're like Liev Schreiber in that one show. Got it. Uh... I'm sure Marsh would get that reference. I don't. <laughs> I don't remember the name of the show. <laughs> yeah, yeah the exactly one show. <laughs> uh, she will pull out the phone that we took. Ray Donovan. <laughs> yeah. Good show. Good show. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough, darling. Well, out of curiosity, why didn't you want to be team captain or whatever? I was a bit surprised by that myself. And have responsibility? Ugh. <laughs> I'm just finally getting to understand that I don't have to bear all this weight on me now. I'm free to do fun things. Why would I want to then shackle myself with leadership of our merry band? Yeah, fun things like sucking face with a cadaver. You're never going to let that go, are you? It freaked me the hell out, I'm not gonna lie. Like, you, I get it. Do you have any understanding of what you look like right now, man? Like, really, at all? I I looked in the mirror. I get it. And I get it now. Like, I get doing that sort of thing now that we know what's up. But the fact that you went right for it, and it wasn't even a living guy. Like, this was spoiled leftovers forgotten about a month ago in the back of the fridge. And you didn't even pop it in the fucking microwave. You just dug in there. Like... Doing that without any knowledge of what the fuck was going on. It, it it was a little weird, I'm not gonna lie. But I did learn something from the experience, didn't I? I guess. And I learned a lot about you. Oh, really? What did you learn about me? One of the things that you are learning now is that she's one of those human beings that cannot sit in a like a car seat properly <laughs> like this is the like propping feet up on the dashboard that like you can't do with airbags but people do anyway <laughs> but yeah uh, Marsh would say well from that experience specifically I got the impression that you were impulsive bold but impulsive and that uh Maybe you didn't have the tightest moral code in life, either. She kind of pauses. Makes like the, the kombucha meme range of faces. And says, mm -hmm, fair, fair point. Well spotted. Investigative reporter. At your service. <laughs> hey, you wouldn't have made it far in the mob, kid. I wouldn't have wanted to. Well, you Expose better want to now. Well, fair. I mean, if it means we get to keep the nice place to sleep. Yeah, keep things on the down low for now. For now, we play nice. We do what we're told. We don't ask too many questions. When we start getting to order the little guys around, that's when we can start poking at other people's shit. Her eyes light up like you just promised a seven-year-old a pony. <laughs> I told you I was curious. I'm just smart. I'm trying to make sure all three of you stay smart. 
you, you're my crew now, and I look after my crew. Oh, that's so cute. Does that... You're like... I really want to make a daddy joke, but I feel like you wouldn't appreciate it. I mean, you've already made a mommy joke. I don't fucking care. You're like our daddy, and that's adorable. Yeah, yeah, whatever. And now he turns up the music. <laughs> How was Chad reacting in the backseat? Uh, Jay sees that Chad is basically snoozing at whatever's going on in the in the in the car there. Um, yeah, no, uh, Chad doesn't seem to care about your conversation at all. Just always recording. That's the important thing. Always recording with that phone. Yeah, he's snoozing, but he still has his hands up holding the phone <laughs> perfectly yeah. still. We, we all know that person. Um, yes. All right. Um, your driving continues. Uh, rain, uh, not the character, actual rain, is beating <laughs> upon, the, upon the car, truck. Um, you know, cool little lightning is in the background, much as, you know, like I think on one of these maps. Uh, and... Uh, another another thing of note, uh, you do see. I don't know if either Marsh, uh, who's you know, the two drivers, Marsh or Raid, want to stop, or if the passengers want to comment on this. Is you see this far before you get there, there does seem to be uh, a busted car on the side of the road, uh, and essentially a hitchhiker. Why they're waiting? Why they're not waiting for some emergency services beyond me or you? But you do see that they are attempting to a, a, a get a ride. Oh, Rain, this is classic. This is classic. We can't stop for this person. Rain looks over. I wasn't going to. Yeah, man, this is the classic action movie. Like, oh, yeah, they're going to stop for the hitchhiker. And then they, then we're done. No. Yeah. But, but what you do notice is that uh, Rain, Rain is suspicious. And just in case, he looks at Jay and he's like, Here, uh. Just in case, and opens up his coat and pulls off the sawed-off shotgun he picked up. Okay, all <laughs> right. Such, and, and hands it over to Jay. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, yeah. I was what? gonna say, Scottrick. <laughs> That's <laughs> dirty pool. That's dirty pool. I, I just throwing it out there. I didn't want you to forget. I want to remind you before you know you made any decisions. That's all. Um, double checking. You said both. Both. Rain and I can see this, right? Yeah, yeah, every, everybody can. I was just saying, but it's up to the drivers to determine if somebody wants to stop, of course. Yeah, so as Rain and Jerry saying, oh, we can't do this, this is clearly a trap, Marsh is going to slowly start to slow down in front of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What? Oh, oh. Do you see this? I see this. Oh. This is classic boomer behavior. It's okay. <laughs> what's it's okay. what's, dad, what's dad doing right now? <sighs> He's going to have to learn someday. You know what I'm saying? So it's our job to take care of him as he learns and grows. You know, that's the best we could do for him. The guy's obviously, you know, confused about his new situation. He's going off of old habits. <laughs> it's it's our responsibility as the younger generation to care for our elders. This is going to be like helping an old lady across the street. Uh, Rain, uh, oh, god. Oh, sorry. Rain was just gonna have the gun ready, and he's just gonna put the hazards on and not slow down to a stop, but slow down and go to the right lane enough that he's just driving slowly just to keep an eye on Marsh's vehicle. I mean, you're on a highway, you're gonna quickly outstrip them. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's <laughs> difficult. Um, I I do there, I don't think any any uh, any drive check is gonna. It's either you're gonna stop or you're gonna keep going. It's one or the other. You can be slower and people are gonna hate you. But it's mm. what one in the morning. There's not that many people out here. Uh, plus these big ass trucks. It takes it a takes lot a of, long yeah, time. It takes a long time yeah. to slow them down. So yeah, if they're slowing down and it's we either have to go in the other lane, go to the shoulder, or just um, stop. Yeah. Uh, all right, man. Let's just, just you know stop. Be on guard. <laughs> we should probably one of us go to the back of the truck. 
So <laughs> Rain will look at him and like, you have the shotgun. I'll yeah, have right, right. ready to go. I'm gonna try, cause you know vampire. <laughs> I'm gonna try to climb on top of the truck. Uh, okay, you know, so... like like Keanu would. You know what I'm saying? Uh, honestly, it's not that difficult to get on the back because I mean you're just gonna climb from the door to yeah, the on top. Okay. And then so this is even yeah. a vampire thing. Okay. All right. Good. 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 So, all right. Now staying up there. Now if while, the, if while it you're... starts moving, right? <laughs> That's the whole of the story. Yeah, okay. if it, it, like motion, that's a vampire thing, but just climbing up there, like, I mean, yeah, you can. Okay, right. okay. Yeah, well, I'm gonna climb up and. Oh, my clothes are gonna get so wet. Uh, it's whatever. Yeah, I'm gonna climb up. <laughs> I'm gonna climb up and I'm gonna, I'm gonna belly. I'm gonna, like, army crawl <laughs> across, the, across the entire truck so I can peer down at the back. Okay, while you're stopped, of course. While okay. we're stopped, yes. Yeah. You do not feel Spider Man powers, just so you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, listen. <laughs> I had to check. I had to check. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> um, you, you, yeah, you are crawling back. You're, you're watching, making sure that you know no one's trying to sabotage or seek up from behind or anything. All right, fair enough. But for the car that did stop, <laughs> for the uh, yeah, you you see what looks like a just uh, you know flat tire uh, and, and a busted windshield a little bit on, on a Prius. Um, and there, in the rain, uh, you know, harking down, is just what looks like the most tech bro dude of all time. He's got the got the glasses and and the, and the pocket and the, and the pen, the whole thing, exactly what you'd expect. Um, and he, uh, you know, as you pull up, he just comes, uh, he races up because it's raining. So he comes running towards your car. Does that adjust anything you do? Um, right before I start lowering the window, I'm going to browse the blood and, you know, blush up. Oh, fair. That is a good call. <laughs> Go ahead and rouse the blood. If I mm. notice that uh, Marsh is doing that, I will as well. Alright. Oh god, I'm, I'm already at hunger three. God damn. This is yeah. <laughs> badly. Yeah, just... <laughs> so yeah, Marsh is going to oh. <laughs> blush up Fuck. and slowly lower ah. the window as he... Uh... He kind of leans out the window looking at the guy and he's like, Where are you headed? Well, hold up. Before we get to that, I have to describe the, the narrative of what you're all feeling at the moment. You you rouse the blood and, of course, you look a bit more mortal-like. Uh, Marsh, uh, you're, you're not too far, so you're, you get the you know the growls of, of, of hunger that you, you would expect. Um, you know, uh, saying, you know, uh, here comes this traveler, come, go, just eat, just feast. You know you want him, kind of a, a vibe. Blake, though. <laughs> if I'm correct, you're at four now. That is the correct! Man, the man races to the window. Here's the thing. He's got a cut on his forehead. And there is just blood coming out. And you are so hungry. You can hear the voice, uh, in the blood, just telling you. Well, this is a new experience here. You need to try it. Um, and it, the smell fills you. You are going to have to make a, a willpower check. All right. Uh, yeah, you are. You hold your composure. You do not immediately latch onto this dude's face like Marsh at a nightclub. Um. <laughs> oh God, he's coming the passenger side too, wouldn't he? Yeah. That's yeah, what I'm so, saying. Yeah, so when this happens, like, Marsh, you just, you hear, like, almost like a feral whimper. And, like, she's got, like, cornered animal look. Like, you could probably tell she wants to eat this dude's face. Like a wolverine. Yeah, like, um, realizing now that it would be on Blake's side, I will say that Marsh was lowering her window and, like, leaning out towards that way. And while he's leaning towards her window, he would, like, kind of grab hold of the wrist closest to him in a sort of, like, easy kind of way. Or, like, kind of, like, mom-arming me? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> like, into the feet? Yeah. She's probably clutching at you, like, so she doesn't clutch at this dude. <laughs> And, Just uh, had a conversation about this. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Marsh will look out the window at the guy and say, Where are you headed? What do you need? Ah, uh, it's a stupid car. It, it's just garbage. And I, I hit my head and I don't even know what's going on. Where am I? 
Uh, I think I threw my phone. Hello? Oh, I think... Oh, I don't know what happened. Discord yeah. uh, just disconnected. Okay. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Right. It was still picking you up on reactives and stuff. Alright. So... Oh. Well, it says it's very quiet, so I don't know. Mm. And... I know there's a decent lag, though. No, oh, no, 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 no. no. It, it was quiet because for like the last minute, I, I just couldn't hear anything. It was weird. It was solely a Discord oh, okay. thing. Yeah. Oh, all right. So basically, uh, to catch you up, uh, uh -huh. the uh, dude, dude is confused, not sure exactly where he is, uh, and uh, apparently threw his phone in the woods at Anchor. I think that was the last thing that I and Chat would have heard, is that he accidentally oh, okay. threw his phone. He's got a cut on his forehead, he threw his phone, and um, Blaine's sweating like that Keenan Peel um, gif, right? Like, because <laughs> of, of the hunger and the blood <laughs> yeah. and everything else like that. Okay. Basically, yeah. Basically, Marsh just opened the window and kind of mom-armed Blake to keep her steady and uh -huh. is asking this guy questions. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So go ahead. She, she's she's clinging to this to to Marsh like a lifeline. Like, look, he just said he was kind of proud of me. Don't fuck this up, Blake. Don't fuck this up. <laughs> <laughs> so for, yeah. For, J for Jay in the audience, Chad seems very interested in this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, March was just saying, you're just on the outside of Boston, friends. We're on Salisbury. Oh, uh, alright, I'm, uh, uh, can somebody, mm, call, uh, call, uh, help? Uh, he's just lo looking, looking about, uh, yeah, his car is getting battered with water. He's getting soaked, and he just seems so out of it, he's not sure what's going on. Hmm. By this point, um, would Jay have army crawled through the the roof puddles to peer down at the back of the truck? Yeah, you're absolutely soaked, uh, and and you're looking down. You don't have the blush of life up, so honestly, you don't really feel a whole lot like you know the cold. Yeah, okay, yeah. You. Um, but yeah, you're you're watching the back. Okay. All right, that's all I'm contributing to this scene. Mm -hmm. Um. In the Boston area, are there still payphones anywhere? <laughs> oh, you're on the highway. Like, th th like there aren't payphones on the highway. Yeah. They have little emergency boxes that, if you like, they're every so, like every so often you can walk to them and basically get someone if there aren't cops ready to go uh, driving around. Oh, okay. So Marsh will say, "Look, why don't you just uh, hop in in the back, and I'll drop you off at an emergency box." Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, th thanks. Uh. Um, uh, Blake looks at you like you're bonkers for that. But I mean, there. Yep. And, and, uh, and the, you know, the, the door opens for him in the back. Uh, you guys didn't do it. <laughs> yeah, he, just, he just looks like. Oh, Did, oh, oh. Does Jay see Chad doing it? Uh, Jay is looking at the back of us. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, for the audience, though, obviously. Uh, <laughs> Jay, so, yeah. Jay sees Rain put his head on, on the steering wheel of the truck. <laughs> well, Jay is on the top of the truck, looking at the back. Jay sees oh, the right, back. right. Rain, Rain is just <laughs> Rain, silently... You see, you see the door just open. Maybe maybe uh. Blake lead back? <laughs> uh, yeah, he, he goes inside. Um, there's a diagram, Rain, so you know where your co-pilot is. Alright, so that's, a, that's supposed to be a truck. Okay. And Jay, he's over here. He's peeking down. Saying. Here, I'll, I'll drag you guys down. Yeah. <laughs> He's peeking down to make sure nobody's getting at the back of the truck. Using his heightened senses. You're up here wondering, like, where did he go? He took a shotgun and he disappeared. <laughs> and then up with this car up here, I mean, God only knows what they're up to up there. <laughs> <laughs> I, would have, I would have left my phone, though. Um... 
probably in the seat because I wouldn't want the phone to get all wet, even though it's, you know, modern phones, so it's probably waterproof. But the phone is like set up for Jay's biometrics, so I don't know if it really worked for you. No, it would have made uh, what Rain's gonna do is he's gonna he's gonna punch the the hood the top of the, oh, of the okay. to see if he can get his your attention because it seems like yeah. shit's going down. So it's raining pretty hard out there. I don't know. Uh, uh, I got them heightened senses though. Oh oh, you hear it then? It, it's that it's that somebody is somebody's beating a drum inside that vehicle, and it's not Metallica uh -oh, no, because uh -oh. that drummer. <laughs> Jay, knows, Jay knows exactly what happens. Uh, what happened here? His attention was diverted. Rain. Uh, a sweet boy trying to act like a tough guy was completely unprepared for the <laughs> pincer attack that probably came at him from the driver's side and the passenger side. So Jay, knowing that if he stands up, he's going to slip and fall off, he's going to slowly turn around and he's going to start <laughs> army crawling back towards the front, hoping he makes it in time. <laughs> Does he make it a time? Do you give it a second, uh, Marsh? Do you wait for Tim to get settled, put a seatbelt on, <laughs> or do you just drive off? I think Marsh would start going as soon as the door was shut. <laughs> oh, okay. Do you, Rain, keep going immediately, or do you wait? No, Rain's gonna wait, because Rain, Rain's tapping, you just hear tud, 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 tud on the cabin. And he's gonna give Jay a, uh, how long will this take Jay to get up to the cabin? That's totally up to scout no uh, I mean, I have already crawled across the top of a semi before. It actually doesn't take too long, okay. even with the rain. Actually, the rain probably helps slide oh, you along slip, a little. Slip and slide. Okay. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Um, right. But the car will will uh, start going a bit ahead, and you know they're gonna have probably a good quarter to half mile before Jay's even able to get inside. Yeah, yeah. What, what Rain was thinking was Rain was gonna give Jay a good 15, 20 seconds. You see, <laughs> watching the, the the lights, the lights uh, dr drifting away in the darkness with the rain, and he slowly puts it on first and starts grinding oh, the truck slowly. I said, "Yeah, I was just, get the fuck to get over here." Speed, yeah, like... I'm, gonna, I'm gonna hustle then. I'm definitely hustling. Again. Okay. <laughs> okay. All yeah, right. Um, Marsh would like check his rear view to see if they're following <laughs> properly, and if he notices they're taking a while, he would slow down just a little bit. High beam, high beam, high beam, high beam. <laughs> uh, Blake is 100% white knuckling everything. Yeah. Like trying, because I assume this dude is bleeding in the back. Oh, of the oh yeah, no, it is. It is not. It's not great. Um, somebody might want to hand him something to cover his head with. Uh, I assume Marsh would just have like a towel or a rag or something in the glove box, because you know, it's probably one of one that you would like wipe fingerprints with most of the time. <laughs> <But> <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> right. Like a first aid kit or something in there, you know. Mm -hmm. But, uh, oh, you know what? Hold on, I think I have a thing for this. <laughs> also, um... Two willpower, willpower checks. All you need to do is get one success Just on a willpower check, okay. and, and you hold your... If I remember correctly. I then... Yeah, check the trunk. <laughs> All right, so yeah, you you've got you've got something. You you've had to patch someone up after a mission gone awry before. We've all been there. Yes. You should see, you should see what's in my trunk. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so Marsh is gonna reach over to the passenger side uh, glove. I almost said blood box, <laughs> glove box, <laughs> and, and get like a small, like not like a an, like an official looking first aid kit box or something. It's literally like a baggie with some bandages and shit in it. Um, but like while he's leaning over, he's gonna give Blake a look, like keep it together, and if she can focus and perceive anything at all, he's kind of giving her a look like he's testing her a little bit. <laughs> testing her resolve but um he she would growl at you probably <laughs> too low for like dude to hear in the back but like you know vampire hearing or whatever there's a bit of a there's a bit of a grr <laughs> but uh he would reach behind him and hand the first aid kit to uh you said his name was tim yeah it's tim looks like yeah. tim and uh when he said that by the way marsh would say you can call me saul and this is uh and he looks at Blake, kind of like, introduce yourself, use whatever name you want. <laughs> Jessica. <laughs> uh, also, Scott, uh, on my sheet, um, I have a thing. Oh, okay. Oh. Hmm. 
<laughs> uh, to include a risky temptation you haven't done before, <laughs> you suffer a two-night spell doll life until either you partake of the new experience. Oh, that well, that is noted. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I think that might that might apply. Hitchhiker, blood coming out of them from an accident, uh, in a, in a situation where you're on a mission. This feels like you know, especially when you're trying to be keep things on the on the down low. This would definitely be would follow this category of uh, something new. <laughs> Uh, I keep that. Unfortunately, my successes were like the first die, so even yeah, no, don't, that, yeah, too. we'll, we'll worry like, about it. Yeah, all right. I just remembered that was a thing. Mm, note it. So, out of curiosity, while you were grabbing this, um, uh, gr grabbing everything, were you driving, Marsh? Uh, no, I'm not making you do a drive check to grab a thing from a glove compartment. We've all been there. It's one o'clock at night. It's not that bad. But I'm just curious. You were you driving or were you stopped? Uh, yeah, it was probably while he was slowing down, waiting for Rain and Jay to catch up a little bit. All right. Uh, fair enough. Yeah, you were slowing down. Um, all right, you grab it. Uh, the, the Tim, he, uh, he grabs, he grabs it. Uh, thanks. Uh, and starts, um, trying, like, he, he doesn't have a phone, he doesn't carry a mirror around, so he's just gonna kind of try to make it work looking through the, the window, like, at the yeah. mirror. <laughs> yeah, Marsh will kind of adjust his rear view a little bit so he can get a better look. <laughs> uh, yeah, starts, starts get, <laughs> getting it. Um, the truck just, uh, begins to catch up at this point. Uh, and let's see, probably, let, let's see, let's see how far away this is. We have dice to determine things. Uh, it's a few miles away, actually. This would have been a terrible walk for this dude. It's like three miles away. Um, <laughs> so, all that. Uh, yeah, t uh, but yeah, he's just like, oh, thanks. Like, I... Uh, I don't know what happened. Like, I think I think I remember something running out, and then I dodged it. Um, and yeah, uh, and he just kind of trails off, and suddenly lurches forward at you, Marsh. Oh shit! Uh, there is a a gleam in the eye that you might catch. Uh, this is when you need to make a drive check. Uh, because someone is, Tim, is grabbing onto your arms, yanking you while your arms are on the steering wheel. Um, okay, I have one point of celerity, would that affect at all? Like, the, the thing I have specifically is talking about, like, a, attempt to dodge, like, like, you don't have a penalty for her cover against firearms, but, like, the passive rules for celerity are, like, I forget exactly what it is, but, like, it can apply to other stuff. Okay, so celerity. Um, yeah, yeah, vampires with power events instantly and can react with them to superhuman al alacrity. They can observe incoming projectiles to the extent that they attempt to dodge arrows or even bullets without available cover. Uh, okay, this is free. It's a it's a passive thing. So no d penalty to defense pools. Um, they take out to all right. Um, fair enough. Uh, this is rapid reflexes. So yeah, you would um. You would definitely see this coming as he lurches to grab onto you. So, uh, noted. Um, how do you how do you react then? You are driving, so like you're still gonna have to make a driving check, but I would allow you to drive while doing another action with this. Um. Honestly, if he's lunging for me, I think Marsh is just gonna like keep one hand on the wheel to keep it steady and use the other hand to pull out his gun and just try to fire right into his face. Oh, holy <laughs> shit. All right. Uh, does Blake also have rapid reflexes out of curiosity? No, I don't think so. Okay. Uh, is, it, like, is that what it's called? Uh, rapid reflexes? Yeah, it would be under celerity. Yeah, you, you don't have yeah, celerity. No. Okay. This is, right. our uh, this is their hitchhikers doing this? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. What? Can you believe yeah. it, Ray? Can you believe it? <laughs> what? That a hitchhiker is <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Um, so, uh, yeah, you may make... Uh, wait, 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 wait. With enhanced senses active, driving behind them, would we see this, or have we not caught Oh, it? I'm going to describe what you see after... Uh, oh, okay, Marsh okay, okay, yeah, 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 sorry, sorry. Uh, remember, so. Marsh's car has tinted windows. I don't know if that will make any difference. Uh, but... heightened senses, I think he's fine. Okay. <laughs> uh, um, but yeah, so go ahead and you may attack, uh, Tim, and you may make a drive check in whatever order you prefer. Uh, would that be... Dexterity drive, stamina drive. What, what would uh, that be? Dexterity. Composure? I would. I would. I think composure would make the most sense because you're trying to keep keep your shit together while driving. And 
And would I add celerity to that or not? Nah? Um, wait, does it say that? Uh, rapid reflexes. Um, if I remember correctly, like it's not on rapid reflexes, but like the passive system of celerity itself. Oh, okay. Well, guess what? I will just look it up. <laughs> because that's what we're here for. <laughs> All right, well, <laughs> rules for celerity, that is. Because remember, I actually don't know this system all Yeah, well. I might be I might be getting it mixed up with like uh, potent stuff, but, I, but I, I'm not sure. All right, that's aspect. Celerity, okay. Ability, also characteristics. Most celerity powers are clearly inhuman. I, I don't see anything about passives. That might be from an older system too. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, yep. All right, two successes. All right. Uh, are you happy with that? Um, I'll spend a willpower on it, actually. Oh, never mind. I can only re-roll the one because the other one's on a hunger die. Not worth it. Mm, okay. I'll roll with the two. All right. Uh, do, do the other thing because it happens simultaneously. So I want to see. I'm going to describe the narration based on all the rolls that happen in this situation. Oh, by the way, I did check in on it um, the last time we did a firearms thing, and I said it's just, like it can be composure or dexterity. Um, if I remember correctly, the rules are like if it's rapid fire, not really aiming at dexterity firearms. If you're actually aiming and taking a, a controlled shot, it's composure firearms. So I'm assuming this would be dexterity firearms because he's just not even looking, basically. Yes, I agree with that. All right, not, uh, all right, this individual is doing nothing defensive at all. They're just going all out on you. So, all right, uh, <laughs> Kim uh, takes a, a shotgun to the head. Um, and <laughs> so I, I will describe through <laughs> from J J Jay's uh, point of view. Have you guys ever seen Pulp Fiction? <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Now I shot him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, anyways, uh, so Jay, what you see looking out the window <laughs> while rain drives uh, is the ghost of Chad slide into Tim's seat. Uh, turns get to you, Jay, or uh, gives you a wink and launches at. Uh, launches at Marsh. Marsh, it, within a second, just boom, like it just explodes. You just see red splatter cover the back of the car, um, which was most definitely prompt to willpower on Blake's. Oh <laughs> no, I think at, the, the, at this point, she's going feral. Oh One, my somebody God. Is, and somebody <laughs> leap into the back seat and just start like, yeah. uh... <laughs> Somebody tried to hurt marsh okay, okay. <laughs> she's starving there's blood nah uh-uh it's, it, it's 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 feral time uh, uh, okay uh you do that uh at the same time a two for driving in the rain with somebody <laughs> attacking you not gonna succeed and you're the car in front of you guys uh <laughs> Jay and, and Marsh just goes careening to the to the side, like uh, into like the little d ditch gully that uh, on the side of all highways, so you don't accidentally, you know, uh, drive into a solid wall or anything. Mm. Um, yeah, um, <laughs> Jay has heightened senses, and Blake's window might might have still been like open, so you might just hear "son of a bitch" as the car just careens out of control. <laughs> 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 and Blake is just fairly lapping up the blood. Okay, so I'm I'm nom nomming. There are mm. probably nom noises actually. Mm. Mm. Uh, you you uh, uh yeah. You guys are obviously not going to stop immediately with these people diving <laughs> over. You guys, your truck is going to keep going. Well, I'm just uh, glad we didn't barrel into the back of them or, or the side yep. of them or anything. Do we yeah, have to yeah. drive check to avoid hitting them as they go off the I'm, road? I mean, absolutely, obviously. Okay. I mean. <laughs> All right, so, yeah. so real quick, how how would play out in, for Jay is he sees there's a, a scuffle, and he says, ah, predictable. Then there's the explosion of red, and he does <laughs> he does sort of a double take, like, okay. Uh, and then Feral Blake 
and that's when he's like, oh, shit! Uh, and then the car just goes, like, off the road, and then it's all you, Rain. I was just gonna say, because uh, as soon as we see <laughs> shit going down, you can tell Jay is getting uh, a little more in, uh, intense, more stressed. Than, uh, luckily, <laughs> Rain also has rapid reflexes, so he will quickly <laughs> react to drag the, 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 the wheel of the truck and switch lanes. Okay, uh, yeah, you rapid reflexes? Alright, fair enough. Um, so, go ahead and make the make the drive check um just just in case but you i would say for for uh ad hoc rules here because of rapid reflexes and the situation uh you could you can add uh, a two dice bonus Ooh. excellent uh so i'll add two to this so let me see what i have what has to uh composure and drive uh okay or yes all right perfect so we'll add two Uh, two vampire dice, yeah. Uh, it it'll automatically uh, roll your your uh, hunger dice. All right, perfect. So we'll just add a two to that. Yeah. Oh. Oh do you wow. Do you, do you, that, do you want to keep that yeah. result or roll a will? No, no, no. Oh my willpower. god! You That's killed terrible. us. We're dead. <laughs> we're dead. <laughs> oh wait, we're more dead. Oh. Um. Uh, let me re-roll right, right, click, right click the card and re-roll with willpower. Oh my god. Come on, you're gonna be kidding me right now. <laughs> um, Alright. Well, you, um... Burn. Are you only allowed to re-roll willpower once? Hmm. Do you know that offhand? I really? think so. I think it's yeah, only it's once. Like a, uh, yeah, it's fortune type uh, effect. Okay. It's not giving uh, me any options. Yet. <laughs> okay, alright. So, one... One success. <laughs> All right. Um, you, you go. I will give you a, a choice. Um, your your car is your truck is gonna go off, but obviously hit the only other car that's not part of this at all. Or, uh, effectively, you could uh, succeed at a cost. <laughs> but whatever that cost may be, you don't know. Um, you won't hit the uh, you know the car of the innocent bystanders or you know drive standers. Um, but, uh, you, you will, you will learn something you don't want to learn. Uh, rain will succeed at a cost. Oh, all right. You, the, the truck goes careening. You almost catch another vehicle that's just coming up because they don't understand how trucks maneuver, but you're able to, um, jerk it. Uh, just right. You jerk it just right. <laughs> and then, uh, you, you, you know, there's a, there's a bit of, there's a bit of trailer swaying. Uh, you, you hit it. Of course, the other car, uh, like Marsha's car is done. It is, it is off to the side. We're all going to find out what happens with them in a second. Uh, but what you hear, I guess Jay would hear this too, because the cost comes to your end, especially you, Jay, because of your height and senses. You hear the sounds of screaming. From the back of the truck. Uh, and that's when we cut over to the car that just dived into the ditch. Cattle truck. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the car crashes off the side. All right. Um, now you got a success, not not a full total like total loss. Or you got two successes, right? Yeah. So not a total. <laughs> everything's not terrible. Um, but I, I think that with the car crash, um, here, I guess your, your, uh, your sketchy mob car, does it have safety features or has it been stripped a little bit? So that way it could be more maneuverable. Uh, this was probably more a maneuverability car for this job. Mm, all right. Uh, so we, we are going to, uh, roll a, basically a, a 1d2 to, to see how much health damage you guys are about to take. Uh, it's gonna be two. Um, this is a car accident. You're going off the side. Um, it, it's, yeah, you're, you're gonna take the two damage as things just crash into you. Um, body parts, well, I guess body parts now, uh, as, as well as bits of the car. You know this car is done for, and that, that, you know, you're gonna have to make a note of that with your contacts later. Um... <laughs> But you get lurched. Uh, were you, you were you also wearing your seatbelts? I think. Are you the types that would risk taker, Blake? 
Uh, I would would. if Marsh made me. Marsh put his on. He wasn't going to tell you to put it on, but he might have given you like a glance. Like, aren't you going to do it? But he wouldn't have pushed it. After the conversation, I think she might have. I also think she might have when... Nah, she would have unhooked it anyway when she went feral on him. Nah, I'm not wearing one. Oh, that's right. You were going feral. So yeah. All right. Well, this is going to be much worse for you. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's that's just uh, the two damages for uh, for Marsh. You, and you don't have rapid reflexes or anything. All right. Um, this is going to be this is gonna be real rough for you. I'm pretty sure there are rules for what happens when you, you know, crash horribly in a car. Um, but... <laughs> Oh, you know what? You were going so feral that your vampirism took over, and you did kind of latch on like a Spider-Man to uh, <laughs> to the seat as it crashed, lapping up the blood. But you do take three points uh, of as uh, health damage, so okay, superficial is that damage. Yeah, superficial. So just the just the slash. Okay. Um, but <laughs> you you are having a, a tough time there, Blake. Um, uh. Does the car land, like, upright, or does it flip? <laughs> well, we're about to find out. Um... Uh, yeah. Um, it is- it is upside down. Oh, Fuck. <laughs> hmm. Um... Uh, it, it's surpri surprisingly, you haven't taken more damage just due to your supernatural helps various whatnots. But yeah, this is, uh, pretty rough. Um... Uh, t a gunfire um, went off. It's, it's just a horror show. Do I still have a windshield? I don't think you have much of anything. Mm -hmm. Um, is there like an easy way out, or like an easy way to get out of the car? I mean, or am I gonna have to like force it, force the door open, or something? Uh, I think you're gonna have to self jaws of life it. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry? I, I said, I think you're gonna have to self-jaws of life the situation out. <laughs> uh. uh, yeah, I'm gonna try. <laughs> what, what, what role would that be? Um, uh, that is a good question. Let me look at what the abilities here are. I guess it would be some form of strength athletics, because you're just trying to pry open things. Um, yeah. yeah. Um... Um, sorry, I'm going to, no, I'll, I'll risk not rousing the blood, because I do have good strength athletics. Seems like Rain should have roused the blood for some dry plus composure. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, do you take damage six, also, or only the no, you in got, the car? No, 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 only people in the car, because you guys didn't go Karita Goff because he succeeded at a cost. You guys didn't hit anything, you you succeeded, mm. but you learned information you didn't want to learn. Oh, about the <laughs> cattle truck. But, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, um, I hate to ask this again, but does Potence have a passive thing for feats of strength? I seem to remember that one. Oh, all right. Well, let's find out. I'm still sitting on celerity, so let's roll to potence. Uh, potence. Um, yada yada yada. Hyper strength. Blah blah blah. Yada yada yada. Um. Hmm. Uh, there's a thing called prowess at level two that lets you add to damage. Um, but I don't see anything. I remember a level three power saying like you can add it to this and this as this aside from feats of strength. So it's like it implies yeah. feats of strength usually allow a passive potence bonus. I don't know how I feel about this uh, implies thing. Mm, mm, um, <laughs> been playing a lot of Pathfinder. Mm, <laughs> yeah, mm. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's see. Okay, so let's find out. Um, yada yada yada. Uh, yada yada yada. I don't know. Just just roll your thing, and we'll go from there. That's what we're gonna do here. <laughs> I don't. I, I. It'll take me ten minutes to actually read <laughs> through these rules. <laughs> I will spend a wisdom on that. Spend I mean, willpower. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I said wisdom. Because you guys have none at the moment. Dang. <laughs> oh. Dang. <laughs> All right. So what do we end up with? Three successes. All right. Let's see what it says about successes of three. I'm pretty sure this is that superhuman. 
Uh, three is replace the walkie to moderate. Um, can have been saying a cop that is your cocaine. All right, running across a tightrope, calming a hostile and violent mob. All right, three. Hmm. All right, I would say if you are willing to uh, pu push your push your body to the limit, you may succeed. But uh, in doing so, you will rip and tear at things in your body, taking an actual point of aggravated damage, as you've done just so much internal damage to yourself in doing so. Yeah, I'll do it. I need to get the fuck out of here. All right, you do so. Um, while you're doing that and push Blake, now you you drank, I would say, in your bestial fury, you did slake one hunger um, before the car totally went over. You know, like the okay, blood spray yeah. got into your mouth, you went feral, uh, you got thrown around. Um, what? As you go, you know, you are also trapped in this vehicle. See that Marsh is basically, uh, you know, forcing their way through. You see that the side, uh, their side, um, just tears open. It's as if the, the like, their stomach is now open uh, and has like its own little mouth, but it's just actual like wounds and whatnot. A bit spurts of, uh, you know, uh, v vampiric blood. Uh, Vite uh, <laughs> spurts out here, there. <laughs> okay, all right. I'm not. I'm not eating marsh. All right, we're good. <laughs> um, is there still blood in front of me in this blood bag? Oh, there's blood everywhere. He just shot nom. his head off. Nom nom, a... nom 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 nom. I'm going down like the like what is <laughs> what is what is left of the spinal column, like neck artery, like face first. Oh, fair, fair enough. Um, so I guess I will. I guess I will tell you. Um. I, I will I will find the interesting things and, and describe something to you once I uh, have it. Oh wait, I do have it. It's inside a little handout because I was smart and made one for this. Um. Okay. Uh. Uh. So you you drink you drink the blood. Uh. And it is filled with adrenaline. Um. As if whatever source this was was in a very angry mood when they uh, expired. Uh. You you feast upon this. Uh, it's going to take some time to enjoy it uh, fully, to actually get your hunger down uh, like another point. Uh, I think that a fair bit of it's kind of lost due to the gunshot too, though. So um, you'll be able to get one more, but it's going to take time. I'll get well, it off the car seat. Uh, oh, okay. If you're going to take that much time, fair I mean, enough. unless um, I mean, unless Marsh is like pulling me out like a feral cat. Um. And the, when and the like, car's upside down, right? So you're like licking it off the upside down car seat. When I like, get I'm, a, I'm fucking that out of the upholstery. Okay. When, <laughs> when wow. I get, when I get uh, an opening, I scandalize. <laughs> Marsh will be like, <laughs> he's like, he is like freaking out a little bit internally. I think he's just gonna grab her by the hair at this point and just be like, fucking come on. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> You haven't gotten that one extra hunger yet, Blake. Do you resist? You. Mm. PVP uh, me, motherfucker. Well, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, would this be strength brawl? Because you're fighting each other, basically. Mm. I'll take either uh, one. I guess if Blake's tried to break away, though, could theoretically do uh, de dexterity based as well. <laughs> like dex brawl? Uh, yeah, I'm fine with that. <laughs> okay, I mean, like, I, I'm not, I'm not doing shit. Like, this is, uh, do I have any additional dice or anything? Ooh, this is a whole new, this is a whole new thing. Ooh, this is nice. Um, yeah, I'll just, um. You can always rouse the blood. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> oh. Um, fa fair enough. Uh, two successes versus four successes. Yeah, I know it. I think, uh... I bring I think... some of Tim with me. <laughs> as I'm pulled out of the car. To be fair, you wouldn't have to pull from the upholstery because his body was there, so you could have just been on the stump. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I... Yeah. Fair enough, but yeah, you, uh... Speak of Twitch, I will not tell the story of crime scene photos I've seen. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Um... <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you uh, you are pried out, uh, not quite satisfied enough to slake that hunger down to two. Just seems to be the night of you not being satisfied, Blake. Yeah, um, um, hey. I okay. am. I nice. I am whimpering, moaning, like 
very sad, wet, feral cat uwu. <laughs> I'm a um, like I, that's the best combo I can give. <laughs> one second. Mm. Bro, As bro. you're one seconding that, uh, we can swap over to the truck. <laughs> uh, you guys hear the the sounds of a a, a couple people screaming. Um. But behind, like behind you, Ray, Ray, Jay, Jay is particularly piercing to your ears, um, yeah. because, yeah, um, that Peter Tingle, it ain't all it's cut out. <laughs> yeah, here I'm just, just in case anybody, anybody cares or anything, I'm just gonna throw that in there. Just uh, <laughs> so we have well, a problem, Rain. Jay well, says Ra not making eye contact, staring out the window. <laughs> <laughs> well, Rain, Rain's pissed off. Rain's quite, he's muttering under his breath because he, he just janked the wheel not to jackknife us, kill someone else, do not hit Marsha's car. And then we, we heard people in the back. Yeah. You just, you hear, you, uh, Jay hears Rain muttering, who the fuck picks up a freaking hitchhiker while we're doing on a job? Come on, like, come on. I know. Listen, it's, <clears throat> it's worse than that, man. You, I don't know if you could hear, but there's a lot of people in the back of the truck. Rain, uh, well, obviously Rain's gonna pull over, has her lights on, and he will look at Jay and, uh, give me the shotgun. Uh, do you want to check the back or do you want to go check on Marsh and the other, uh, on Blake? Uh, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ch <laughs> I'm gonna check what? the back. I'm gonna check the back. But Rain, full disclosure, I'm gonna let those people go. Rain's gonna Rain's gonna give you a look. He's like, "No, you shoot Jedi mind tricks. Keep them there. This what? is for. Wait, just wait. Just hold on. We need to figure out what's going on, and then just keep them there. And then he's gonna grab, load the shotgun, and then he's gonna walk towards Marsh's vehicle. I can keep them there just by not taking the lock off, man. All right, I'm gonna go stare at the back of the truck. <laughs> uh, you you stare at it. You you hear you hear the sounds of screaming. You don't hear anything pounding though uh. on the back of the truck, uh, which would be uh, something that would be distinguished if you know. But nope, you just hear screaming now. Uh, you know, for for help from a couple of voices. Um, it it just keeps going, ringing in your ears. Um, so you're doing that, and Raid, what were you doing? With the shotgun. Uh, he doesn't know what happened in Marsh's vehicle, right? He was he was focused on driving. Uh, he has well, his shotgun, and <laughs> you saw that there was there. There was a gun, gunfire that blasted through the windshield of the vehicle. It, it went careening off. You had to dodge it, dodged another car, heard the sound, then pulled off. Um, so you guys are a, a fair bit ahead. But And if you look down and out over, well, if Jay looks out over, he can see what's going on because heightened senses. But you, uh, you can kind of catch, like, because of the you know, the ha passing lights and whatnot, people are slowing down to kind of see, you know, the couple people on the highway that, you know, they slow down, but they don't stop because it's, it's nighttime. You just keep going. Hey, Rain, uh, we got to either <laughs> leave or let the people go, man. Um, <laughs> I was going to say, like, if Rain is coming up to Marsh as he's, like, dragging Blake out of the fucking car, um... That willpower role was him, like, about to lose his temper with Blake a little bit because of the uwu face and everything, but he kind of, like... <laughs> <laughs> she can't help, like, this is, like, that's why I said feral. Like, it's, I know, I know. She's going to her basest instincts of protection. Yeah, and because Marsh, like, won the willpower role, he realizes that and he just kind of, like, hisses under his breath. He takes off his uh, suit jacket and just kind of wraps her up in it because she's covered in blood and people don't need to see that shit. And he just kind of, like, shoves her towards Rain right as Rain starts coming over and he's, like, and, and like, he's holding his, like, his wound, by the way, so he's holding his guts in right now and he's oh just, my like, God. he's, uh, like, I don't, I don't... I don't know if Rain is over there yet, because I think Jay was still talking to Rain, so you know. I, I just shouted at him. I, I didn't expect an answer. Oh, oh okay. I, just, I wanted to burden him it... with the knowledge and the guilt. Oh, yeah, no, no. That's just, <laughs> yeah. You just look at chat and, and the game, and you guys will you'll learn later. But yeah, okay, so yeah, Rain comes over, and, and yeah, you thrust, and you got the gaping wounds, you're covering it. Yeah, and Marsh is just, like, holding his guts, and he's just like, get her in the truck and get 
and get it moving. Get out of here. I'll catch up with you later. Does, good does, does rain, rain smell? Sorry, go ahead. How good does rain smell? <laughs> How good does rain smell? <laughs> we're, we're gonna go to jail or be killed by the vampire mob or become slavers. <laughs> but yeah, how good does he smell? <laughs> I mean, like, from a tasty blood, like, my hunger perspective, <laughs> Scott. I think that um, Scott to answer. Uh, Oh, uh, wait, so how good does rain smell? Uh, honestly, yeah, your hunger, if rain, rain, you don't have any wounds, do you? Nah, so rain, rain just is rain. Like, you can smell the vampire, you but know? He, but I'm not, at hunger three, I'm not, like... Nah. It probably, nah. like, a much better being tossed at rain than staying with Marsh, who is bleeding all over the place. Yeah. Okay. Ski sandalwood. Ski sandalwood. <laughs> rain. <laughs> Honestly, it's probably more wet dog at this point to be truthful. Because, <laughs> yes, to be honest. <laughs> well, uh, gang girl. I mean, <laughs> um, but but yeah. So so she. I I will, if I'm yeeted in that direction, I will probably like kind of cling to him. Again, sad, feral, wet, kitten, uwu, but slowly coming back to myself. The the, wet dog and musky sandalwood bring me back, to. <laughs> But yeah, Marsh is just looking at Rain like, we can't let anybody see more than they've already had. Get a move on. I gotta get out of sight. Does does Rain see that Marsh is visibly hurt? Uh, you can probably see the blood leaking out from his hand. Alright, uh, so as I'm holding Blake, uh, you just see Rain, uh, Rain's eye. Uh, a little red gleam comes on because he, he can start, so he can see better in the dark. And he's just gonna, like, hand over Blake to you. Marsh, get in the truck. I'll take care of the car. Go get it started. Jay's dealing with the back. I'll get rid of the vehicle. Go. <sighs> he kind of looks like Go. he wants to argue. But he's, he's like, fine. And Rene kinda... pushes him away. Pushes him away from the vehicle. Go. Wait, do you yeet, give me, like, hand me back to Marsh? Yeah, yeah. I, I hand you right back to Marsh. She's like, I'll take care of the car. Go. Th there's one lingering pet on your chest as Blake goes away. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so faint, it's hard to tell if that was just, like, her arm slipping away or, you know, she was... Um, Rain is, like, so Peggy running Carter on adrenaline Captain right now. America. <laughs> if you were holding oh. your hand on Rain's chest, you could... Uh, well, he doesn't have a heart. He's not pumping. He's dead. You didn't feel anything. <laughs> but um marsh who has no idea what's in the truck and what we've heard and everything um he's cut he get there he gets blake into the truck and then he realizes uh jay is not there and he just kind of calls out jay come on we're leaving where the fuck are you i'm keeping watch and as i approach uh, I'm gonna, real quick, I'm gonna say to Marsh, I'm gonna be like, I don't care how much fucked up stuff you do, we're about to deliver a whole truckload of people. So think about it. Uh, he does do a double take. Like, <laughs> this shit is already crazy, and that, like, manages to stop him in his tracks for a second. And he just kind of pauses for a second, he's like, fuck. <sighs> Listen, we'll figure it out. We gotta get the fuck out of here before cops show up on anything yeah i just saying let's not drive to the drop off just yet let's let like, yeah. yeah yeah all right get in the back all right. and like the back yeah, of the not, truck because uh, heightened, like, heightened senses jay yeah. off in the distance sirens wee, wee, wee. all right yeah yeah all right um well, i'll hop in the back not the back back but you know like the sleeper cabin okay oh, uh the shotgun ready yeah, and Marsh is gonna get back in the driver's seat of the truck this time, and uh, start driving off. He's gonna try to shake off any possible pursuers, not go to the exact drop-off, but kind of in that area, and try to find a place they can stop and recollect themselves. Can I, can I, I have, I've kind of come to at this point, um, because there's like, I'm no longer surrounded by like, human blood. Uh, can I try to, like, at least, you know, like, bandage Marsh's guts in? You know, like, while he's driving? Like, I don't know if there's something. Uh, well, you can, you know, do it uh, to be nice, but only only a vampire yeah, can no. use rouse checks to heal themselves. Right, right, right. But, it, I mean, at least so he's not making a mess everywhere. Uh, yeah. Um, fair enough. Yeah. You can do that. You don't have to make any checks. You, you do it. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to be nice. 
yeah, at first Marsh is about to snap, like, just fucking leave it, but he realizes you're trying to be nice, and he doesn't want to make I, the situation more bad. tense. <laughs> uh. Chad. Uh, sorry, what? Where is Chad? Oh, um, so yeah, Jay, uh, j <laughs> Chad, uh, is, uh, just, just hanging out, hanging out in the truck now. There's a, there's a, there's a, a wicked smile, a very douchey smile, one might say, <laughs> on, on his face. Mm -hmm. Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, he's, he's the, the sleeper, uh, Kevin, just caught, like, feet kicked up uh, on, so, you know, on some invisible something or other, and, uh, just, uh, you know, arms the back of the head. I mean, Jay feels tremendously judged by that, that look. On mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna mm. do? He made, a, yeah. he made a pact with these people, and if he let those, uh, people out of the back go, I mean, it could get everybody killed. So, I don't mm. know. I don't know if, we, if I'm ready to die for ideals. That's what he's thinking to himself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Chad uh -huh. sticks his head through the semi to the back of it, pulls his head back out, and just shakes his head disappointed at you. Yeah. As, <laughs> uh, as long what? as Keanu's not here and disappointed, I think I'll be okay. Uh, <laughs> fair enough. Is there enough. a way Chad could tell you who's in the back of the truck? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I have speak with ghosts yet. I do think that uh, yeah. is an ability that I can get. Okay, but this is the most you can get. Yeah. Right now, yeah. just it, obviously, like it's, I can only see. I don't bad. think I can. Yeah, I don't think I can interact. I can only see. Mm -hmm. now, now, uh, it, you know, if if Chad used a, pos a possession ability to talk, that definitely could work. Or if he used like telekinesis and like move some chalk to write on a, on a chalkboard Gosh, or something. Are you trying to get us a fifth person to play a wraith? I mean, <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing here? I mean, I have I have my bujo. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, I guess the real question is, what's Rain doing? Since you got, you guys will yeah, be able to get out beforehand. What does Rain do? You're there. Uh, <laughs> Jay hears the siren, like, because now, like, the, you like Jay hears the sirens in the background, and then we cut, and like, we see the lights way off in the distance, and then we see Rain, just uh, torrential downpours coming down on you, flipped car, headless corpse, blood everywhere, <laughs> um, and people slow it down as they pass by. What is Rain doing? Rain, Raina, before the truck leaves, Rain wanted to get rid of the evidence. If any evidence we have in this vehicle. Uh, like a so, headless corpse? Yes, what he was thinking of doing was, uh, he has some lighter fluid, and he was gonna reach in and rip a piece of clo clothing from this corpse, and then pour some lighter fluid on it, stick it on the, to the, where, the, where you fill up gas, and then light it up on fire and run back to the truck. Mm -hmm. There will be tons of evidence still left behind after that, just so you know. Oh, as absolutely, as <laughs> absolutely. But but when we have limited time, and we uh, we fucked up, we fucked up, and he's just trying to get rid of whatever he can get rid of because he doesn't have time to take care of this car. So he's just gonna try to get it to blow up, light it on fire, and sprint right back to the truck. All right, it is tons of rain too. But what we're gonna do is we're we are going to allow you to make a larceny check. Um, I'm gonna go with wits plus larceny to like quick thinking, uh, you know, criminal your way through this. Oh come on, I I just need a few successes. Hey, you could always rouse your blood to add dice. That's a, that's a good. Uh, I will do that because this is this is important. All right. So when you do that, you get to so you uh you can rouse the blood and then. You add uh, two dice to your dice pool for this. All right, two dice right there. Mm -hmm. Oh, what? Why did it roll three? It should have only rolled one die. What you, oh, I'm sorry. It, I, it, it's you said uh, add two dice, so I hit oh, it. Oh, oh, my. Sorry. Okay, well we can, we can use the first one, which is a success. So, um, you, you, uh, your. Hunger should stay wherever it was. It should not have gone up if it did. Oh, it did. Let me just uh, knock one, knock one yep. there. Down. All right. So, all right. Now, uh, okay. Now you may make the check. 
uh, additional things are going to happen too because of the specific means to which you're choosing to do this. But we're going to handle that in a second. I just want to <laughs> see if you. I want to see what your larceny check is like. All right, let's and see. And that's uh... the roll you add plus two to. Mm -hmm. That's the one you add the two dice to. And do I add them to vampire or hunger dice? Uh, vampire. Yeah, va just yeah, uh, right. vampire dice. Your hunger dice are as always whatever your hunger is. Um, all right. Uh, let, let me. Let me. I'm going to use some willpower. All right. Feel free. All right, five successes. All right, just so that way we can, uh, you know, keep with the thing of me always checking and reading aloud things. With five successes, that would be something hard. Convincing a cop that it isn't your cocaine or rebuilding a wrecked engine block. I would say torrential downpour is trying to set a car on fire. This will count in that circumstance. Here's the problem, though. You're trying to set a fire. And uh, you, might, you might not have encountered this yet, but vampires <laughs> don't like fire. Um, so now I have to find the rules on that, because I forget what that is. Um, but there, yeah. <laughs> to be fair, he is trying to use gasoline and lighter fluid to get it going, so. Yeah, yeah, I, I know. Vampires don't like fire. So we're going to see what ha what happens. Uh, I do have to find that rule, though. Fire. All right. Unless somebody has the rules on hand that can actually, uh, and knows the answer. Because I don't. Do you? Not off the top of my head. I'm sorry. No, it's I fine. I don't encounter Roach Shrek that often in my games. Yeah. Okay. Oh, here we go. Uh, fire, terror frenzy, <laughs> type stuff. Okay, this is probably what I want. Okay. So, a terror frenzy will manifest when a threat like sunlight or open flames confront the vampire. <laughs> um. Okay. So. Yeah, yeah, sample terrorism triggers. Okay, in that case, when you to resist frenzy, the vampire rolls willpower against a difficulty set based on the level of provocation. Vampires add dice equal to one third of their humanity to their willpower roll. When resisting frenzy, this is rounded down. Rain, uh, your um, your humanity is what? It's six. Six. Yep. So you may add two. So you make a willpower roll and you add two dice, and the difficulty is. Oh shit! Sorry. Oh, uh, well, you got you succeeded anyways. Uh, you needed two successes. So you start this, um, but you're able to maintain your your composure throughout, uh, and you set the fire. Um, you obviously leap away, like you you've resisted, you know, be like you've been able to actually succeed and do the job you're trying to do. Uh, the question uh, being is, what are you doing now that you've started this fire? <laughs> he he's gonna get it going, and then he's gonna he's gonna just turn around and sprint to the truck because he hears Marsh getting it ready to go. He's like, this fucker's gonna leave me. I just <laughs> and he's gonna start sprinting to the truck. You told him to go. <laughs> yeah, but like get to the car to get to the vehicle, not not leave Rain with the with the mess behind. <laughs> Uh, to be fair, I interpreted it the same way Marsh is. I, I did as well. Uh, yeah, um, and Marsh was telling you to leave without him, and you, and you basically told him to switch places with him. <laughs> yeah, because he saw you. He saw you like all the all all injured. So you, he didn't think you were gonna leave right away. So he thought he had time. So he's just gonna start sprinting back to the truck. Yeah. Um. Uh. uh I don't know. Um. I think. I think that uh, this. I, I don't know if you're quite going to catch up to a truck that's already basically. It's fine. While you're if you're um, leaving me, you, that's totally fine. Yeah. You just run into the night. All right. Um, I, oh, this is real tricky. Um, so the truck leaves. You go chasing after. I think. I think we'll come back to you in a second because it's real <laughs> important. Because it's like two o'clock, two o'clock in the morning or something like this at this point. Uh, you guys have about three. Ooh, what was it? I wrote it down. Sunrise is at 5 a.m. So you guys have about two and a half hours to get back to where you need to go. Um, uh, so you go um, racing after. <laughs> yes. Marsh isn't going to go all that far because I think I've been thinking about it. And like as soon as like the car starts to get going and everything, Marsh is going to look at Blake and say, Chase says the truck is full of people. Then we can't deliver them to the camera, really. You know that. 
Uh, he doesn't answer, but like you can see it on his face that he was already like at that point. Yeah. And he's not going to go super far. He's going to basically shake off the cops, shake off any pursuers, and then find like I don't know, like a side road or something, an alley. <laughs> I don't know, something where there's not too many witnesses. Uh, okay. Oh, okay, so you're looking for an actual highway exit. You're going to get off and just go wherever. The, where you are in, nor- in uh, northern Massachusetts, it can be a little sparse in some of the exits, so you should be able to find uh, a place yeah. that's uh, quiet. <laughs> Though, you know, a giant truck rolling through a quiet community could be noticed. Just throw that out there. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, there's not a lot I can do about that, so he's just going to do the best he can, find a quiet spot. Um, and <laughs> he'll wait around a little bit after pulling over to see if, uh, if rain could catch up. Since I'm gonna, I'm gonna remind good you of something. You, got, you guys have phones, don't you? Oh, yeah. Uh, Marsh is gonna call rain. Uh, so, so as rain, uh, so as you guys drive off, rain obviously doesn't catch up to the truck, so he's just, uh, he just goes on the on the shoulder of the highway, puts his uh, uh puts his jacket on, and then uh, continues and just gets soaked. And then you call him <laughs> what, like five ten minutes later? Probably at fifteen twenty. <laughs> the, the, the the cell phone's ringing on him, and he has a he's just trying to. He knows it's not gonna work, but he has his uh, thumb sticking out on his left hand. He's like, who the fuck picks up a hitchhiker at <sighs> two fifth two in the morning? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. So after the car, so you're you're gonna start hitchhiking, like not even a not even a mile away from. No, no, no. The... he's gonna sprint. He's gonna sprint, and then he's not gonna do it right away. He's gonna wait like a good five ten minutes where he doesn't see the fire, he doesn't see the siren. Uh, 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 um. Okay. Um. Hmm. This. All right. You are allowed to make the decisions you choose to make. Uh, <laughs> Just uh, a, a, a far enough that he's not obviously like the the driver of the vehicle that's on fire. Um, I'm I'm gonna lay it down to you, bro. It's extremely <laughs> sketchy. <Yeah. laughs> it's very sketchy like, that I'm. Yeah, I think your I think your criminal character would know your yeah. best bet is to hide in like the little woods With the street between, like, yeah, on the car- sides. Yeah. Yeah. There's no way they're gonna be patrolling the highway. Yeah. These people are gonna be looking. So he's gonna be on the side of, of he's gonna be off the shoulder of the road, just staying in darkness. He's gonna keep his uh, eye darkness uh, eyes of the beast on, and he's just gonna keep going until Marsh called. Okay, Marsh uh, calls you. If you choose to answer, you answer. <laughs> he he uh, flips over his. Yeah, he flips it open. Hello. <laughs> Where are you? Uh, just on the just off the highway. Where are you guys? Uh, Marsh will give like quick general directions, <laughs> um, and he said, "I'll circle back around and try to pick you up." But listen. Um, your sire, she made us pick up fucking blood bags. At least that's what Jay said. We haven't opened her up yet, but none of us are feeling good about this. What's your call? Uh, I, I, you guys said not to look into, into the cargo. Uh, let just don't circle back. Just wait there. Just share your location. I'll make my way there. Just stay there. There's some heat on us. There's I've seen some sirens driving by the highway a couple times. They're looking for someone. I'll get there. Wait for me. We'll figure it out. Just just how many blood bags? What's the condition? Figure out what's going on. I'll be there. Gotcha. Sorry the fuck up. It's gonna hang up. <laughs> All right. It's gonna it's gonna take a while. Um, I mean, I guess you can cut through the woods. Like you won't have to follow the actual highway pattern directly, and you and your you know your animal person basically, uh, mm-hmm. and dark vision. Um, so noted. Uh, but, but the the way Rain sees it is like a, a transport truck <laughs> just drove away from a fire. Like if we start circling back in it, and a random stranger get tries to run across the highway to jump into someone, it looks so suspicious. Oh no, you you are one hundred percent correct. The the circling back was an interesting also thought. Um, 
Uh, I, I'm going to represent this as a, um, this is going to take a little bit. So this feels like a, a stamina survival thing on you, Rain. Or I would take athletics if you're just sprinting like a madman. Stamina. But it's definitely stamina. Uh, stamina survival? Or if I could do uh, either or They're all the same, so I'll do survival right. stamina. Okay. Are you rousing the blood? Actually, you, let me see. What did you did you use that? Okay, for the um, criminal enterprise, right? <laughs> All right. Um, so that's separate. You'd have to do a different one. Nah. You only got one hundred, dude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so he'll uh, rouse, rouse, just to be safe. All right, you re you're a success. You're, you're not hungry at all. Th this is all sick <laughs> to your stomach, honestly. I'm like, all right, you're gonna make that check. <laughs> he had the one die, and then uh, is it one or two? You two. had two. Uh, all right, perfect. So he will try to get. I wish there were a toggle for that. All right, uh, three successes. That is, uh, I don't know. Is it good or bad? Do you order willpower? Are you happy with it? What you doing? He's he's gonna take that. Uh, he knows that uh, that they're waiting for him, but he's the one that got stuck behind, and he's just trying to make it through the woods as quick as he can. So, so you're happy with your result? He'll leave it at that. Yep. All right. And we will find out the result of that after we go back to the other vehicle. Well, the only vehicle now. <laughs> yeah. So after Marsh hangs up, he's gonna look at Blake and say, uh, "Rain's on his way. Let's." figure out what we're dealing with and he's gonna start getting out of the car i'm going to because finally my curiosity is being satisfied <laughs> mm. okay. yeah so jay's Marsh gonna follow Blake. on the roof Get the fuck down. Down. i so i could hear what's coming in case somebody tries to hijack the truck That's, he has a point there Marsh. <sighs> all right like you've never seen a John Wick movie or played <laughs> any sort of team based shooter. Like, th <laughs> this is the payload, Marsh. Protect the payload, Marsh. Amateur tower, come on. Marsh is just gonna ignore him. <laughs> um, uh, I don't know if he has lock picks. Can he use like vampiric strength to just try and break the lock off? I, I mean, uh, absolutely, you can use strength. I mean, you know, uh, it's strength plus what, like athletics or larceny? I don't know. It's make, make, make shit up and roll with it. <laughs> I'll do strength larceny. That, that sounds about right. And uh, because shit has been going so poorly lately, I'm going to rouse the blood. <laughs> just for a little extra help. <laughs> because rousing the blood never makes things worse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, but you're good. You guys are doing great. <laughs> Let me add two to that you know, the roll you're about to do. Nice. Alright. Alright. Are you happy with your roll or do you want to? Oh, uh, I'll whip power. Why not? Alright. With four successes, you have just enough strength. To break the lock, you do so. It cracks, you separate it, you chuck it to the side maybe, and the door yeah. awaits. Just rolls up. Oh, um, I assume my blush has worn off by now. Uh, yeah. Uh, Marsh is going to, like, be about to open the door, but then realizing what he looks like and everything. <laughs> He's gonna look at Blake and say, You wanna handle this one? Alright. Um... I will... Yeah, so you'd like to handle this all-you-can-eat buffet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm not... I'm <laughs> where people, people are screaming inside. <laughs> like, because you know we're in a quiet part of, you know, uh, off the highway, you can hear the... Like, it's still soft. Like, you know, somebody driving by won't hear it, but if somebody were... And, like, now that we know what to listen for kind of thing? Yeah. 
Marsh is hoping Blake's had her fill. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, she, still looks she still looks hungry, but I'm not going to risk <laughs> rousing the blood again. I'm going to hope that, like, the darkness and my general ability to, like, lure people will be enough. Uh, I also try to get, like, I'm probably covered in blood and stuff, so I will try to strip off as much, like, bloody clothing as I can and not be, like, indecent. Um... And, yeah, I will uh, step into the truck, uh, right. listening and paying attention with my heightened senses. Oh my gosh, you just, you're, your heightened senses are going much like Jay, it's just... Okay, uh, well, I mean, if it's too much, I'll turn it off, like, you know. It, I mean, it's up to you if the sounds of people screaming in de desperate, uh, desperation, uh, wanting to be free of a potentially dangerous situation, uh, is too much on your senses. That's up to you to determine. Oh, dang. Um, you, uh, you roll the, uh, you, you roll, you, uh, roll the door open? Yep. Alright, you roll it open. Inside. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's difficult. There's basically a series of almost, like, bunk beds that are just stacked with people. Uh, most of them are comatose of some sort, or, you know, at least you know, passed out and not waking through all the chaos that's just happened. Um, there, there has to be at least a uh, hundred people here. They all seem to be wearing, um, what you might say, uh, not, not good condition clothes. Uh, people might be roughing it, uh, pe people in, you know, again, desperate situations, possibly homeless. Um, in the, in the, in the back, um, but not all the way to the back. Uh, there are a couple of people who are restrained. Uh, they're, it's hard to tell because of their dirt caked and a bit on the older side, but they are screaming uh, for help. And now that some light has flooded into the, into this chamber, um, they, they are looking up, uh, screaming for help. Uh, and the terrified, like, they're not sure if you're here to help or harm kind of way. Okay, I will immediately kind of like put up my hands I uh, and do and say you know we're, we're here to help we're, we're here to help you and I'm going to be looking around for who seems to be the most coherent or like the one everybody looks to to kind of speak uh, well it looks like there's only like two people awake at the moment uh, okay the, the rest seem to be out like right, you know whoever, the deepest sleep you've ever seen yeah whoever looks the, mo the more coherent of those two I will go to them uh, all right. Uh, you do. Um, yeah, the they, both of them are pretty. Let me let me roll, flip a coin, basically, to de to determine that. Uh, ah, cracker jacks. I don't like that. Not just a, a foundry thing. Oh, did it not roll these dice? All right. Why not? Okay. Um, you, uh, you go up, uh, you see what honestly looks like your, uh, if you, if you live in a city or, or you know, I've seen enough television, you, you will recognize what appears to be like, you know, the cart woman, the woman who's always got the carts and the, and the trash bags and the whole thing. Uh, essentially this kind of a description of an individual, which I do not have art for, but I think we all have imaginations. Uh, uh, th she seems to gather her composure first, uh, while the other's still kind of yelling. All right, I I will uh, go, go up uh, to the woman and just say, "Please, I'm here to help." To what? How did you get here? Tell me, who are you? What is what is going on? Oh, all right. Um, <laughs> hmm. Okay, you're gonna attempt to convince her you're here to help uh your social stats are very high i i, I will not force you to roll because okay. of how high they are um because you could do that if your skill set is so high you can just skip the rolls because they're confident nice. and that you don't need to make them look like clowns um so you uh uh yeah uh th this individual looks into your eyes um wait did you have the blush of life going before coming in or no no i i specifically did not because i was hoping that like the darkness and everything else would work in my favor 
Okay, that is a fair and reasonable uh, response to that question. So, uh, th th this woman looks into your eyes, um, and for some reason she feels at ease. Um, I don't know. Uh, and uh, you, you basically just ask her what's going on. <laughs> yeah. Uh, she stammers for a little bit, uh, you know, kind of mumbles out some things that aren't totally coherent, but eventually uh, br breaks to um, effectively a story that goes something along the lines of, uh, we, uh, I just went, went to, to the, to like the food, the food pantry, like the soup kitchen, uh, and they, they offered a place to stay, and uh, don't remember much more, like when they seemed very they seem very kind-hearted, uh, and, and I don't. And then I woke up here. I, I don't know where I am or why I'm here, and why I'm restrained. And uh, yeah, she she is strapped down with like ratchet straps, like she's just like lumber. I will start undoing her restraints. Um, yeah, it's ratchet straps. Takes two seconds. Yeah, and, or forever uh, if you don't know how to undo them. <laughs> yeah. And I think, do you know any of these other people? Were they at the food pantry with you? Uh, she looks around. Uh, try, like, you know, it's still a little dark, but, you know, there's enough light. Like, she, she kind of uh, trying to make out. And some of them uh, were, uh, you know, others who are also there. Um, some of them I don't recognize. You look, some of them actually are in, like, more decent clothing. They don't all look like, you know, uh, you know, the destitute, um, homeless or anything like that. There are a couple. Um, actually, Blake, your whole thing was investigator, right? Do it like, do I recognize any of these people? Or... Well, that's what I'm asking. Your yeah. your job, your profession was investigator. Okay, you do actually recognize that a couple of them are people who are basically like, um, uh, shitty shitty individuals who should have been put away in prison, but they just had the right kind of lawyers to get away with, you know, whether it be murder or other worse crimes. Okay. Alright, you know, um, People who wouldn't be missed, honestly. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I'm getting the feeling that nobody in this truck would be missed. From the- you know what I mean. We can argue, like, the social ethics of it, but- Oh, well, that's not what we're here. Oh wait, hold on. That's right. exactly what the situation is. <laughs> well, yeah, but I mean, I'm saying like as far as like societally, these are the people who would not be missed. Oh right. Oh no, no, I, I got you. Yeah. Um. Just some Blake is more okay with them never being missed than others. <laughs> um. She will. Uh, who's the other person who is awake? Uh, okay, so the, the other person also, um, looks more on the, uh, on the homeless side than, like, the, you know, potential criminal side. Okay. You know, actual criminal uh, side. Not, like, rain yeah. criminal. Yeah. <laughs> um, not, like, ma main character criminal. Um, where the fandom justifies it because he doesn't wear a shirt. Um. <laughs> Blake will reassure them that like that they're gonna be okay she just needs to go talk to her people you know just sit tight <laughs> you know i mean she has like released them or whatever um yeah. but just that you know don't like don't try to like get out of the truck or anything it could you know like don't hurt yourself kind of thing okay um, all right and is trying to use her best reporter voice and kind of imitate, like, the police officers that she's worked with and stuff, you know, as far as, like, the professional inspiring confidence. Yeah. Uh, and we'll go go back and, like, hop out of the truck to rejoin uh, Marsh. And she's kind of assuming, like, if Jay has been keeping a lookout with his heightened senses that he's heard this conversation. Trucks are echoey, too. So. Yeah. If Jay has heard this conversation, he says low. Uh, anticipating that you could hear him with your heightened senses. Yeah. <laughs> so, I guess the official call will wait till rain gets here, but what are we thinking? 
They don't want to be here. Yeah. There's, I mean, there's some assholes in here that probably deserve worse, but they were tricked into this. They're not willing. Fuck. <laughs> Mark's yeah, just like. like <laughs> and she just kind of looks and she's like, if they were all like some of these assholes, and she probably names drops some like local, like assholes that are in there that maybe Mar Marsh would know too. Like if they're just kind of known dicks. Um, like, are there any members of the mafia in this truck? <laughs> Uh, no, these are more like individual pieces of shit, not so much like organized <laughs> yeah. pieces. Yeah, of this shit. is like like lo like small town local, har like harassing a neighborhood kind of pieces of shit. Um, she's like, look, if it were just if it were all of them, I'd care much less, but it's not. Um, <laughs> uh, Marsh does the thing of like, especially because it's still raining, like wiping your face when you're like face with a hard choice um, and he kind of like paces back and forth a bit and he's like I mean we knew there was some of this shit going on right like there's no way everyone in that hotel came on their own volition <sighs> like he's he's almost trying to like justify it so they don't have to go against the Camarilla but yeah mm, he's trying to convince himself and not doing a good job <laughs> and she's just like it's Old homeless women, people down on the luck, people who didn't have a chance. This is 100% preying on innocence. And the few assholes who could probably just die anyway. <sighs> Fuck! <laughs> yeah. like more and more pissed. <laughs> uh, but, from the brief conversation I had with Kennedy, my sire, did I get a vibe with my in, like reporter senses that he is a true believer Camarilla guy, or is he more a do your own thing Camarilla guy? Um, hold on. What what brief cut? Just so that way I can recall. Um, well, you said like per, like before, like because he was like. I thought here. I I thought I spoke to him like either on the phone or something. Like I think I did. Oh meet yeah, him. like pre pre session, like pre first session. Yeah. Pre uh, either pre first session or I thought when we were at the hotel I did meet him because like we do have art for him. Oh yeah, yeah he was. Um, well, no, he 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 has not been functional since you found him. Oh, that's right. He's not been functional since we found him. That's yeah. right. Uh, so I haven't talked to him. Uh, um. Yeah. Oh, why does that show up six times? What the fuck? But what about um? If I do remember anything about him from before. Uh. So, th there wasn't really a topic about, you know, the specifics of, like, Camarilla yeah. or anything like that. It, ge general, uh, any type of general vibe was mostly, like, trying to lure you in with, lure the, me you in. know, yeah. dark, dark secrets and blah, 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 you know, that kind of thing. It, it was most, you know, mostly more like testing behavior in a way than anything else. Okay, do I have any way of getting in contact with him that wouldn't be going through, uh, Evelina? Uh... No. No. Um, okay. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna say for um, because this is mechanics that you would see in the book. The the more powerful a vampire you are, the longer it takes to recover from being staked. Uh, like if you okay. are like full staked and like beaten shit out of kind of a thing. Yeah. Like for you guys, you guys would wake up like the next night. This dude is probably gonna be at it's least a few a weeks, if not more. Yeah. Okay. Um. That's like player knowledge. Of course, your character wouldn't necessarily know, but your character knows that they're not currently available. Yeah, th that was the biggest thing. I was like, I don't. I'd f I had forgotten that he had been completely staked. Like, when we rescued him, I thought, like. Um. Okay. And then our other option, like, going to Anarchs is like, that's not an option. Okay. So we're on our own, as far as Blake's slots go. Why is Anarchs not an option? Because I feel like it will. That's dragging in two factions and causing a beef that, like, 
there's no coming back from that for us. I mean, there's no coming back from this decision. We we either tank our humanity, uh, or we draw a line in the sand against one of the biggest vampire organizations on our like fourth night as a vampire. <laughs> Uh, you guys wanted to play vampire. But don't, but don't worry. Wait, don't wait, worry. wait. Jay's got an I. Jay's got a solution. Okay. Pass the conch. Blake... Pass the conch shell over here. Jay's gonna. Jay's gonna knock the shell out of the park. Okay. Blake also has a thought, but she wants to hear Jay's first. Okay. Uh, so Jay calls down from the top of the truck where he's, you know, slowly pacing, uh, like you know, John Wick, and um, shotgun, <laughs> shotgun ready, the whole deal. He calls down and he says, uh. Well, Marsh, you're the leader. What do we do now? Are we slavers? Are we human traffickers? Whatever you say goes. You're the boss. Uh, Marsh kind of has the expression of like, I know you're playing me, but you're right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, oh, no, no, hold on. really proud of himself because he was going to do the scene from Bugs Life where the grasshopper explains to the ant princess uh, how hard it is to be the leader, but he didn't think that Marsh had seen that movie. So, <laughs> so he left that part out. And it's because this would be cinematically appropriate. Somehow, Rain manages to break through. Even oh, though beautiful. Like, this is a movie, so he shows up. <laughs> yeah, just, he's got, just he's just got they fridge. Say those words, and Marsh has to digest them. <laughs> uh, he's co covered in, like, trees and branch scrapes. Uh, but they all scratch him just in the right way to make him look even cooler, oh, of yeah. course. Uh, he comes out of the woods <laughs> like Jacob in Twilight. Oh, there's a couple, just a couple of beads of blood stuck in his wet chest hair. Oh, man. Hmm. Mm. Mm. Hopefully Blake didn't see that. <laughs> Saw that. <laughs> uh, but you I'm, were, ima um, I'm imagining you're... Jay said that under his breath, forgetting <laughs> she also had heightened senses, and so she responds. <laughs> yeah, I saw yeah. that. <laughs> I did. Um. Um, Marsh is willing to make a call, but Lily, as a player, wants to hear what Blake was going to say <laughs> before. So, Blake, Blake will just say, Alright, look. We're in a tough situation. Like you said in the car, we are four days into being in this organization. We can't betray people, but we're also four days into the situation. We already had a tough negotiation with some Anarchs. What if we ran into trouble? That's what I was thinking. I'm thinking we get these people unstrapped. We help them out as best we can. And then we call the cops. And then we get the fuck out of here. And we get our story straight before we go back to Eve. Blake's just nodding. Uh, and... Trying not to look at the glistening chest that has appeared <laughs> But yeah, Marsh, like, he didn't even look at Rain when Rain started approaching, but after he done, he's done, like, laying out the plan, he just smoothly turns to Rain as if he knew he was there. <laughs> <laughs> and just says, That worked for you. Uh, Rain, Rain. Do, do, who, oh, go ahead, go Who'd you say that to? Rain. Oh, okay, it's Rain, okay. Because Rain's just getting there, right? So Rain yeah, is... you, you show up for that conversation. That last piece. <laughs> Rain is coming through. You see, he's soaked. He's fucking soaked. I think we're all <laughs> soaked at this point. We've been standing out in the rain <laughs> by this fucking truck. He's been walking for what? Half an hour? <laughs> in the wood. I assumed you were sprinting. Like, you you know, you use you use the fact that you're not actually human anymore. Mm -hmm. You don't need to breathe for your benefit and kept going. You didn't have that muscle fatigue that... You know, we humans suffer from. He's jogging the whole way. He gets there. He's like, shifts the the wet hair off his face. <sighs> that's that's uh, is, is that what you think is best to do, Marsh? Just just get rid of everything. Yeah. How about you, Jay? 
Oh, Jay stoically just gives Marsh a nod. Did you say that out loud? <laughs> oh, I have to check. I have to check, right? Because I have to, I can actually test for this now. So let's see. This will be my resolve and my composure. All right. Here we go. Roll it. Oh, he keeps it. Nice. He keeps his shit together. He keeps his shit together. He just gives you one <laughs> nice. cool. Gives you one cool guy nod, like you're the boss. Doesn't say anything though. Now that, he, it, now he's, that he's doing cool shit, is Keanu here? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, most most of the time, the Keanu comes in like with the when the blood is racing. You're trying. I don't know. Yeah, You've yeah. got adrenaline. Um, <laughs> uh, you could always try to. I mean, you are a Belkay, but you could always search for that inner voice. I don't know, I, I, Jay's feeling pretty good tonight. Like, he's figuring everyone out. He understands that, as a Malkavian, his powers lie in the mind and the spirit. And he's starting to really dig into that shit. Uh, yeah, you, yeah, you took care of that cop. You're handling the shit while yeah. everybody else is, you know, driving off the road. <laughs> no, one, no, one sees, no one sees that in Jay's backpack uh, is a copy of the 5th edition manual for Vampire the Masquerade, and he's been reading <laughs> <laughs> He's doing his homework. Yeah. But, um, after getting the nod from Jay and affirmatives from everyone, Marsh is going to say, All right, get to work. I'll keep watch for cops and uh, Spaniards. Uh, could could Rain uh, quietly uh, walk up to Jay? Uh, just, just uh, not not in an aggressive way, but just get his shotgun back, and oh, then yeah. he'll, and then he'll he'll grab it off Jade, give him a bro nod, and then uh, uh, go over to Marsh, uh, pull him to the side. Do we have to release everyone, or is there anyone we can bring back just for a, a half success? Mm. Like just there were those assholes. Look at this guy, Marsh. King Solomon, chopping that kid in <laughs> half right now. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta chop a baby in half to solve a hey, problem with vampire. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Greek, Greek heroes were chopping kids up all the time. It worked yeah, you gotta them. throw that. You gotta throw that behind your ship. So down yeah. the enemy. Yeah. But uh, terrain. Marsh will say, "Well, she's your sire. You think she'll buy that?" I, I don't care about mommy. I'm just worried about the the flack that we'll catch for this. This is our first job. I'm we're worried trying about to the establish flack we're ourselves. from your sire. Mm. Remember, she's the one who gave us this job. Uh, is there is there anyone worth bringing back? Is there any anything, or, or or do we just burn the whole job? There's some shitholes in there, but I'm just trying to figure out if they'll buy a half failure. You know. There's a difference between shit just hitting the fan and we lost everything versus we conveniently lost all the innocent people. No, no. Marsh. Show them what kind of man you are. Tell them this is what you get. And if it ain't enough, then we'll do another job to make up for it. But if we don't have, oh. we don't, if we don't stick by who we are supposed to be, who we want to be, then we failed mission zero, right? Because didn't she tell us to go into a conference room and figure out who the fuck we were going to be? She did. So let's now, tell her who we are. Uh, Marsh, like, you could see the wheels spinning in his head as he's considering <laughs> this, and he looks actually kind of impressed. And he says, Ballsy. I like it. <laughs> Fuck it. We'll keep the, uh, shitheads you were talking about, Blake. Everyone else, they get a get-out-of-jail-free card. Ray nods, and he's gonna cock a shotgun, and he's gonna look at Jay, and I need your Jedi mind tricks. Get the innocent people out. We're gonna take the shit even the truck, and all of us are gonna do a delivery. Everyone else gets off. Mm. Yeah, basically all like the innocent people that are awake. I guess we, yeah, we need Jay to like make them forget they ever saw us. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I can only do the last few 
minutes of their life. So they're going to remember all this nonsense. And probably us, because we've been standing here talking. But, you know, it's better than nothing. Hopefully not. they won't remember Rain, but that's good for him. <laughs> <That's> good <laughs> well, I mean, I think the only person they've really seen is Blake. Okay, fair enough. And, like... Well, if some of them aren't medically sound, we might need to find a safer place to drop them off. We can't just leave a bunch of Well, the, the plan was to call the cops. Okay, yeah, so, the co we, so we steal another vehicle, throw the scumbags in the back of that vehicle, and then we deliver those people. And we leave yeah, the and they're only okay. two people awake. Can this so... truck be traced back to our employer, though? Do we care? Well, is it, if we're trying is to this complete the job a... like badasses who are standing up for their beliefs, but still completed the job, we need to look like we actually could have completed the job successfully. Uh, what, what, yeah. what Ray was going to suggest is uh, getting the innocent people out and dropping them off and calling the cops and then mm -hmm. taking the truck. And then continue to take the truck. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we just okay. got to find a good place to drop them off. I don't want to leave them on the side of the exactly. road. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, just re reminder, most of them are in comas. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Maybe like a okay, like, I was just oh, reminding maybe like Rain. an all night clinic or you yep, know, something exactly like that. that. Yeah, Marsh, you gotta know a place. Or the, or down the block from an emergency uh, hospital. Yeah. Anything goes by. You're gonna drop off almost a hundred people. Yeah, like that's that, that's a lot of people. I okay, mean, the truck okay. gotta stay. What if we steal a? Di no, the trailers are probably registered too, right? So we can't just swap the trailers okay. on the truck. Look, if the truck look, if the Camarilla is worth its salt, this truck isn't traceable. Fair, fair, smart. Okay, then yeah, we just need and another if, vehicle and if to they put. Call us how on many it. scumbags are there? How many scumbags are there, Scott? Oh well, okay. Now you're gonna have to actually get, dig in because you recognize a couple of them offhand, but you have to like really think about this. So let me see. I would say your investigation would work uh, combined with you're trying to remember, so intelligence. Okay. If you want to rouse the blood for this, feel free. <laughs> uh, well, there's a lot of snacks inside. If you want to, if you want to reduce your. Well, actually, because I know I already know there there are some scumbags, so I'm gonna do it. Because uh -oh. I can always eat a scumbag if I have to. That is true. All right, you're not increase the uh, increase your hunger. All right, so you well, said there's a whole buffet intelligence. here. Intelligence. <laughs> intelligence plus investigation. Okay. And do I have, what do I have added to it? Two dice. Two dice. Two vampire dice. Okay. Yep. Okay. All right. Are you happy with that result? Um. So, to put I it in I'm... context, I'll yeah. let you know. It would be convincing a cop that it isn't your cocaine. <laughs> like, you have cocaine in your bag. You convince the cop that you don't have cocaine. That would be the equivalency of, like, five successes. Okay, then, yeah, I'll keep it. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, you can put your head together, and, like, I think that's on the map. So, like, if you go over to the far right, like, there's, like, difficulty of actions. Um, that's a good litmus test to kind of see what successes are. It's underneath all the clan stuff. Um, okay, I, had, I had it zoomed in on the excellent drawing. Yeah, yes, I mean, that's where I've been to the whole time until I go over it. But yeah, <laughs> it's fantastic. Um, this this feels like, even though this is too high populace for this conversation, it still has the right energy um, <laughs> for the, what you're dealing with right yeah. now. Uh, so you're, I'm going to add some more mood sites for our convenience in the future. So you um, putting it together. Yeah, uh, there, there's honestly probably a couple dozen scumbags mixed in here. Uh, and on top of that, like, there are some people in pretty, um, we'll say not great, uh, physical condition, um, you know, uh, as well mixed in. Not saying that you're, these are, you know, that you would consider them edible or anything. Just saying there are some people who are, you know, they probably have, you know, you have to justify in your own head whether, it, you know, whether they are fine on their own or not, and some of these people, you might think, actually are just in actual comas. Um, like, there's a wide variety, but there's about two do uh, yeah, a couple dozen, two, like, two, two dozen individuals who are, you know, some form of scum of humanity, some might call. It's up to you to determine specifics, but I'm not giving you, you know, 24 names or anything like that, like, right around yeah, yeah. there. Okay, so, like, I, I somehow indicate the 
the scumbags uh, for the group. And um, then, yeah, we just need to, we need to get a vehicle that will fit 24 bodies because they're all out. So, like, two or three just, vehicles then? Or a large run, whatever, like, Marsh's buddies can come up with. Oh, we got, I, we got some yeah. larcenous people. We could just steal a bus or something, right? I, I don't think Marsh's people have the time and ability to get yeah. there. It, like, they don't have enough. Like, looking at the time on the clock, you guys don't have enough time. Yeah, okay. Uh, um. Yeah, Marsh was going to call the cops to get them to help whoever we can't, like, directly help. But we can't be here when the cops get here. It, yeah, yeah, I know, but Marsh yeah. was basically going to do, like, an anonymous drop on one of the burners and oh. then, like, toss the burner. Gotcha. Yeah, the, but if, if we're trying to return any... See, that's the thing. Like, the that problem is, is a hundred, a hundred people in the back of this trailer, and only 25% of them are, we plan to deliver. So we either, Yeah, at this yeah. point, I feel like we just l let the assholes go. Like, I feel like we just need to drop the shipment. It was too hot, yeah, something yeah. happened. Yeah, okay. Yeah. This, yeah. Is, this is Han Solo dropping the cargo. Like, we gotta okay. do it. Okay, okay. Yeah. It also and, is a slippery slope to have Blake's investigative reporting yeah. be, be the judge, <laughs> juror, and executioner of these people's lives, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 So, as we kind of figure that out and everything, March is like, alright, fuck it, we're losing Moon Knight. Yep. Just drop the whole thing. Get ready to drive off. I'm gonna make the call. Uh, can I, maybe with a combo of, like, some of Jay's Jedi mind tricks, can we convince, um, Cart Lady and other guy that we were never here. I, uh, I mean, the theoretically, you could convince them to an agree at the moment, but deep down in your soul, you know that some people, it's likely they might talk if put under any questioning, because you know. Yeah. Mm. yeah that's fair. But in the moment, they might believe that they will in the moment yeah. until you know they break because somebody just asks one question. <laughs> yeah. Why? While well, Jay and Blake are doing this, why don't we unhitch the trailer? Leave the trailer, and then drive off in the truck, and then we just yeah. call in to come pick up this trailer anonymously, right? Then we have a yeah. vehicle yeah. to get away in. Somebody left the trailer behind, kind of a thing. Yeah, you know, like what's this abandoned trailer doing in front yeah, of my yard? Yeah, perfect. Yeah, thank you, Chad. <laughs> uh, yeah. So yeah, Jay turns to Marsh and says, "I just got this crazy inspirational idea." Let's take the truck, leave the trailer, you call it in like you're a concerned nighttime driver and you saw an abandoned trailer, you don't know what the heck's going on, somebody should probably come check it out. Yeah, and what if, um, I mean, now we could take the two that were awake with us and drop them off somewhere else so they're not immediately questioned by the police. Mm, that's even smarter, and then you could accidentally yeah. eat them if we get in another car accident. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness, there is still, there is still time to get into trouble, and miss, <laughs> and miss your uh, sleepy time. No, that's, your right. that's fine, grab your two, Can't road, get over grab real fast. two road snacks, and let's go. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Alright, Rain, with me, let's get the trailer unhitched. Just reverse yeah. all the hard work we did earlier. <laughs> Rain's <laughs> just like quiet. Time. Rain's so quiet, he's just like, motherfucker, tonight sucked. <laughs> Listen, yeah. you succeeded at a cost. <laughs> <laughs> you could have just let us get in an accident and we would have found out anyways that there were people in the back. <laughs> and then we would have been in an accident. While killing some innocent people. In the <laughs> your, your truck would have survived that. You would have just taken out the innocent people in the car and you would have still been able to keep going. And you wouldn't have found out. That's the mm, difference. Mm. Mm -hmm. We'll never know for sure, Chad. We'll never know for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Um, anyways, yeah, so you un you unhook the trailer, it takes like two seconds, honestly, if you know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Um, if you don't, it takes like ten minutes, um, or more. Rain, um, rain is Sometimes having... you forget to drop the legs and the whole trailer just collapses when you pull the truck out from under. <laughs> oh, that's I... oh my god. <laughs> as, as Rain and Jay unhook the trailer and, uh, get the truck free, uh, Rain is thinking of all the fucking shitty jobs he's had to do that always land him in jail and he's like again i'm a fucking <laughs> kindred and i'm doing this shit and he's like, jay now feels that rain is quite angry oh nice i didn't have to put points in there. <laughs> <laughs> uh jay realizing that there's definitely a connection forming 
uh, without making eye contact. He says, uh, he says, man, putting so much work into something and having it all fall apart. But I think it beats being a human trafficker. Rain looks up and uh, you just get you just get a nod and he's like, yeah, no more hitchhikers. That's no, the rule tonight. That's the rule. That's the rule. Do you guys say that in earshot of Mars? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> yeah, we're we're two workers just bitching. We're just two workers. We don't care if the foreman hears. We've had a hard day at work. Marsh was like about to dial nine one one. It was like, you guys, and he's like, "How the fuck was I?" <laughs> <laughs> just get in the truck. Get ready. I'll be just a sec. Cause no so one I, hitchhikes I have... anymore. It's called Uber. I I have um, I have my road snacks like in the sleeper berth of a truck, <laughs> um, and am having a conversation with them. But oh, they want to know what you're doing with everybody else. I mean, yeah. You can't just take them. Uh, I mean, I, I tell them the truth that they're they're going they're getting help. They're getting all right. Help. They'll believe you because you have eighty two points in social skills. And that, unfortunately, we are part of an undercover. Oh God, oh, this is horrible. Like one to help. <laughs> we are part of an undercover organization. Uh, that combats human trafficking. However, we fear that the local authorities are in on it. Therefore, if they ever speak to the authorities, they cannot mention us because it might tip off that they were some of the escaped people and thus put their lives in danger. Ah. Mm -hmm. They immediately buy into this as conspiracy theorists. Uh, so they, they would 100%. They like, uh, yes, that makes sense. Uh, Never trust them, uh, you know, local authorities. Who knows what's in that Dunkin' Donuts? Who knows? Mm. Mm. Uh, oh, I'm sending you a message real quick, Scotcher. Oh, alright, feel free. Okay. Sometimes there are Dunkin' Donuts right next to police stations. Uh, they J tell you, pepperol. J it might, is a thing. Jay might have low-key picked this up uh, with his, with his, you know, his, his abilities. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Uh, oh my goodness, <laughs> there's a lot here. But <laughs> appreciate. It. Uh, oh my goodness, there's a lot to read here. <laughs> don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. It's fine. All right. Uh, this is amazing, and she's staying forever Ooh. now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I will save the information reveal for later Beautiful. because I feel like, um, because just looking at time and where we might want to try uh, to get to by the yeah, edge yeah. of this, um, but I feel like I feel like this this woman is returning now. <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, she one hundred percent buys into it, and her, and so does her companion. And they, you know, they they're happy that you are going to take them to some safe place Do, like is there, there like a witness protection program they want to mm. is there is there a witness protection program for us oh um okay if nobody stops her blake is going to start uh building her herd yeah, go for it. Oh god. Yeah, yeah. on the trailer. Jeez. Like, you know. Yeah. Oh, I don't oh, I didn't put the description I heard in there yet. Um but uh yeah, basically You're I'm, their contact. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm their I'm their contact. They have to keep going like as if everything's normal. Um I'll you know, I'll we set up like some sort of dead drop or some way we need to get in contact with them like the next night, tell them where to go. Um and yeah, once they're shit. there, I will let them in on, like, you know, like, show them how deep the rabbit hole goes. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> all right. They are so, they are so, GM, GM making all sorts of notes. Oh, man. Like, that's, like, whatever we call. that's like playing a motherfucking sorcerer in uh, Cards Against Humanity. Like, that's just an instant win when you're dealing with conspiracy <laughs> theory. Oh, uh, all right. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> Conspiracy. All right, I'm very good at cards against humanity. I love that game. Uh, anyways, um, 
I would so, yeah. love to play Cards Against Humanity with this group, just saying. <laughs> yeah, I, was, uh, I don't know, oh, that'd be awesome. Hold on, hold on. Meta, one of our characters play Cards Against Humanity. Oh. <laughs> oh. That could be a session. That's that's when you guys have done some dark shit, and you guys are trying to, like, <laughs> relax. Trying to get back our humanity. What do humans do? <laughs> they play Cards Against Humanity. Yeah, that's right. They play Cards Against Humanity. That's what they do. Amazing. Alright, I'm making another just note. Like, just is like, I saw this on a stream one time. This it's, even got, it's even got humanity in the name, guys. <laughs> but it's against humanity. <laughs> the car is so I don't... It'll teach us something. Don't worry, Mark. <laughs> I don't get it. Hashtag boomers. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, though, I mean, any boomer on Facebook would love playing that game. True, true. Uh, yeah, they would love playing that game. Yeah, but the problem is they think it's all true. <laughs> Listen, we don't, have to go, we don't have to go into the details. Just suffice to say they would love playing the game. Fair enough. Uh, Chad would be interested, too. He, he, oh, he's geez. an honor. <laughs> Oh, for sure. I he, does, he, has does the Jerry... big, he has the big collector's box with, like, every set, for sure. Oh. Uh, Crash. I have yeah. it. Like, I do oh, have it in real life. No problem, no problem Chad. My friend Mallory has it, too. Her, her, her <laughs> guy got it for her uh, birthday. Here's the question. Does Jay tell, tell Marsh what happens in the car? Because all, all Marsh knows is that Tim attacked him. You saw the the spirit go into into into. Oh. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I think we've. Re I think Marsh is dealing with enough right now. So <laughs> I think we'll hold off on that. Honestly, okay. fair. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So you, well, you need to touch the trailer. All right. <laughs> while Blake is uh, building her herd, and the other guys are detaching the trailer. Marsh is calling the cops. <laughs> All right. Uh, you get the you you know like you you provide whatever information is needed, and uh, they you know appreciate it, uh, and they will take care of it. Because you're not too far from where it was. It certainly sounds like this person is very exasperated. Like they're having a long night. Whoever whoever <laughs> this dispatcher is. <laughs> oh, and I assume they do like the classic thing of like you know stay on the line and everything. And Marsh is just like yeah yeah I'll stay on the line. And then he hangs up and half. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> snaps it in half. <laughs> uh, fair enough. And then such, he hops such a in good the truck. scene. Such a good scene. <laughs> All right. Uh, you, so you have the the tr the truck. Then, like, then they get the, the, the into the cab again. and Blake. The cabin, like, yeah. And that is why the giant space hamsters are being held at bay <laughs> by chemtrails. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, no, I knew it. I knew it. Uh, 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 oh my goodness. They're, 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 they, you know, this night went from terrible to, like, learning everything. They're now official members of Delta Green. They're, they are into this. <laughs> but, uh, with his guts still, like, patched up, but still, like, bleeding and everything, Marsh is gonna, like, take a look at the driver's seat for a second and look at Rain and said, You drive. And he's gonna hop in the truck bed. <laughs> Rain was going to be driving regardless. He was going to try to tell you to get on the passenger seat. You've done <laughs> enough, old man. You've done enough, old man. And then they'll get in the passenger No, no. Put Blake in the passenger seat. I'm fine out of here. <laughs> Are we ready? Can we get the fuck out of here, guys? Uh, you gotta yeah, be in the go. cab or you're going to be real conspicuous. But you can like, sit on the floorboard or some shit. Ah, uh, fine. Marsh just gets Alright. Uh, you get in, you head off, and I have to ask the most important question of the night. What music are you listening to while you uh, head off from the scene of horrors? The same station that Rain had on. He's not going to let it get touched. He's going to turn it up, and he doesn't want to hear anybody <laughs> talking yeah, about what, tonight. What was Rain station? What station is this? Um, uh, metal Hard Rock. Okay, fair. It's gonna Pantera. say Danger Zone, but you know. <laughs> we, we the hand. And then all I was gonna say that the hand that feeds you by Nine Inch Nails is playing. Oh, yeah. Ooh, okay. <laughs> and you and you drive off, uh, and you don't encounter another thing the whole way. 
back. <laughs> it's just quiet. The music's playing. Uh, you, you pass by seemingly innocuous things. Um, I assume at some point you're letting the uh, people out before you go back to the hotel? Yeah. All right. Yeah, so, um, somewhere like relatively close by setting up that dead drop where you know I can let them know. Mm-hmm. Are you going back with the truck, or are you dropping off the truck and walking back, or like what you say, dropping the truck, like you just dispose of it somewhere? Or what, like, what's your plan? Rain was gonna drop everyone off near. I get. Are we going back to the Armitage? Yeah. So he would drop them off like a block away, and then he he'll, he'll tell them, "I'll get rid of the truck. You guys go back. I'll I'll take care of it, and I'll be back in half hour an hour." Yeah, I probably would have. Wait, wait, like... wait, 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 wait. What's our story? That's it's what I was going to say. By the way, guys, just so you know. On yeah. the drive, Blake was crafting up a believable story of us getting attacked by unknown individuals who may vaguely fit the description of some of the people from Wally's. Um, and ultimately, you know, wrecking the car, and there was just so much heat, we had to drop the trailer. That's believable enough, and not too far from the truth. Yeah, and Marsh will like after Blake comes up with the 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 story and everything, he will drill everyone on it. Like, repeat after me and everything, <laughs> just make sure everybody gets the story straight. Maybe like the like uh, like the the road snacks also like help because again, like they're fully invested in us maintaining. <laughs> so like. Blake does this where, like, instead of saying, like, oh, when our boss asks, but just, like, if we're pulled over, this is, you know, or, like, whatever. I don't know. For, like, our undercover thing. She somehow makes it make sense. Uh, so we okay. could have had that conversation. Wait. So are you bringing the snacks with you, or are you... Leaving, snacks are getting... Us... Snacks are dropped off, like, a block or two away from the Armitage. Okay. Where, when we are, and kind of told to lay low, Blake will be in touch. Alright, so you drop them off a block away from the people that you were going to drop them off to in the first place, tell them to lay low. Got it. I like that, it sounds dumb, but yes. I'm just putting it out the way that I heard it. That's don't, 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 <laughs> let, don't let Chad bully you. It's, it's, it's fine. It's great. I like how I'm now being called Chad. Great. <laughs> <laughs> alright, so. Alright, you, you guys satisfied with your story? Dower? Yes. All I right. mean, I prefer to just tell them the truth, but, um, you know, if if Marsh thinks this is the right move, Jay's going to back it. Does does Jace, like, seem visibly uncomfortable with this? Um, no, I think he's just maybe a little disappointed. He might seem a little disappointed that, you know, like, he Jay thinks that this might be and this is very stupid of him and very self-centered but that's kind of his thing he thinks that this whole thing was a test of our personal integrity because it doesn't make sense that we were basically told we had to figure out who we are and what we stand by then we're sent on a mission that is a moral quandary and then we don't and then we immediately go against our own like code that we made so it just shows them that we don't actually like believe like what we put you know what i think jay would actually just say that out loud okay well if he does yeah. um blake would just say so when we were in the car marsh was talking to me about overall plans for this and unfortunately the camarilla is not like his old job and there are a lot of people that are incredibly self-centered in it right now we're the new kids we can't change anything but once we in their trust make them think that we're like them we can flip it and she pauses and then is like struggling for a second she's like we have to enter the matrix first like Keanu <laughs> You know what, Jay? I'll keep what you said in mind. If I get that vibe from Evelina, I might spill the beans. But for now, I'm gonna play it careful. You 
got more experience with this than I do, than any of us. So I'm just making sure that as the leader, you had the different angles. That's all. Yeah, I appreciate it. It's not a bad thought. I mean, it'd be a, it'd be a convoluted fucking test, but I wouldn't put it past these older kindred fucks. That's what I'm thinking, right? You live long enough, you get bored and crazy. But it's I'm probably just overthinking it. I don't know. We've, we'll we've see, got man. A, we've got our plan for either way. Right. But uh, if we're reporting this, we gotta do it now. It's almost daytime. You do start to feel a little sluggish. Uh, so, <laughs> you know, like, you start getting sleepy, yeah. but your bones are starting to, you know, you're getting a little bit of rigor mortis on it, basically. Mm. Yeah, uh, so we... Do we feel like we have enough time for the conversation, or should we, like, do it first thing tomorrow night? Um, well, you could stall, because you know if it gets too late, nobody's going to want to talk, they're going to want to mm -hmm. just go to bed. Yeah, so maybe we wait as long as we can before we get, you know, before we walk back in, to where then they're just going to be like, fuck, we don't want to do this right now. Well, you have to yeah. wait for Rain to get rid of the truck. Yeah. Anyway, so. Yeah. Yeah, so instead of going ahead of Rain, we'll just wait for Rain to do the disposal, and then we'll all go in together. Alright, Rain, how are you disposing of the truck? He will, depending, he, he can see what time it is, he, he, he feels it, he will drive away just far enough that he can, he believes he's, he cannot, you know, hide the fact that they were in it, and just again, with a little bit of lighter fluid, throwing up a little bit of gasoline, getting it rid of, he's done this before, he's just gonna torch the car, and then calmly walk back to the armitage uh, okay you are you are the center of boston there's no God place that you're not any gonna get lot? any parking uh, lots any uh there are places you could do it, but it would get immediately noticed that's what i'm saying like yeah we're, we're talking about a not a very large city size wise with a lot of people in it it's like it's very it's densely populated uh, city you know what instead of torching it today since we don't have time could we find a shitty parking lot and park it um, I would say potentially, uh, that this would be, <laughs> let me see, for Rain, I'm pretty sure this would require some kind of check, uh, to see if you can do a good job. Uh, yeah, I would take Streetwise, Streetwise plus Wits, because you're kind of trying to do this on the fly. Uh, I don't suppose I could have, like, talked with him before he left and given him some tips and helped him with that check? Um. I don't know. Raid, was this a, I'm going off on my own, uh, like a cool guy? Or was it, hold on, any advice, guys, before I go? Oh, no, so we could probably, we would have probably discussed the scene as we were chatting about what we were going to say to Evelina on the way back. Maybe we actually also discuss what we were doing with the truck. All right, I'll, I'll grant a bonus die in that case. <laughs> All right, one bonus die added. Let's see if we can find, oh, mother. Oh, my God. I'm going <laughs> to willpower Oh, feel free. I'm on a nice roll tonight. Okay, that's much three successes. That's that's enough to find a place that you think you can ditch it for the night and uh, be able to take care of it tomorrow. Uh, with only the with hopefully <laughs> that there's no off chance that someone would be specifically looking for this particular truck and happen to find it. That's the popular place. Let's you know, you 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 think you're okay. <laughs> As far as you can tell. And you are able to make it back. <laughs> it is getting very late though, and so... Um, any any other preparatory things before you enter the Armitage? <laughs> or do you guys just try to seek a different place to seek shelter for the night? Uh, that might not be a bad idea, actually. Because we could say, like, it was so hot we had to, like, duck into the first place we found. Sounds good. Yeah, we find some, some motel somewhere. Yeah, it's not like we need to be comfortable. We get one room and just fucking stack on the bed. Mm. You you would have to definitely uh Yeah, or like in the closet like or in the bathroom probably. Some some yeah. puppy pile action. Yeah, ba bathroom with like the mattress Oh yeah, you like, wouldn't want housekeeping to just open the open the blinds yeah. and kill us all. <laughs> Uh, well, you you do the extra locks um, that they have on them. And... Yeah. yeah, and if there, 
If there's a chair in the room, Marsh will put the chair up against the door and sit on it and sleep there. <laughs> well, you wouldn't, you wouldn't want to be... Oh, like the bath, the Ooh, bathroom door. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. in the bathroom. Yeah. Can we go to a cash place and use Jedi Mind Trick on them and be, and be, <laughs> like, and be like, hey, thanks for the room uh, after we yeah. pretend to pay them but don't pay them? Oh, absolutely. Okay, this nice. motel is exactly the place you want to be at. This okay. one right here. <laughs> Listen, they probably don't even have housekeeping. Like they <laughs> I am learning so much about your life, man, like from this campaign. Like I feel like you've so, been to all no... these places, done all these I, things. Viewers. I worked at a carnival. That's oh, what I was wow. about to say. No to if you want a good storyteller for VTM, find it find an ex carney. Wow. Yeah. Rating with a party at twenty, right at the end? What? Okay. That's cool. Uh, yeah, I'll take it. Um, <laughs> so you so you uh <laughs> You go to the to the motel. You Jedi mind trick the uh, the clerk. Um, you you uh, get your rooms. You pile up. You make sure that it is very clear that um, you know no one will enter this room during the day. Therefore, literally destroying you guys. Uh, Chad uh, drifts uh, uncomfortably close. Jay just you know on his phone uh, and. Uh, as uh, night, or I guess as day sets in and uh, dawn approaches, each of you slips into your comatose, then dead sleep. And I guess that is where we would be ending the session. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, well, once yeah. again, once again, I make sure I'm very artfully draped before I die, and I will probably attempt to at least clean the blood off of myself. Yeah, very <laughs> fair. <laughs> I, w I want to um, try dying in a chair this time. Is there, is there a chair <laughs> like available? Yeah. Marsh we're all, wait, 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 we're all uh, in, the in the bathroom. You're right? on the toilet. Oh, okay. So I do. Oh, I, pull, a I pull an Elvis, I guess. Oh my! There's God. a bathtub. There's a chair. <laughs> Two in the bathtub. One in the toilet. One in the chair where Marsh is. So. Yeah, yeah. I guess I guess Rain and I are, are in the beautiful people are in the bathtub. Ah, <laughs> uh, fair enough. I will say to you. Because of your decision, now this is a, this is an optional house rule. If you guys want to spend experience points in the future, which you should now be at like ten, I think, um, because you'll get two more tonight. Uh, you'll be at ten. If you want to buy humanity in the future, one because of your very selfless act of trying to dissociate yourself from vampire kind uh, and maintaining your humanity by salvaging individuals and following your own tenets, you can buy a new rank of humanity just 10 yes. times whatever the new rank is yes 10 yes, yes. times the new like, rank ten times whatever the new rank i that's a lot of sessions to <laughs> that, for you some people are much lower uh, so for for example isn't that like 70 <laughs> well it depends if you're at six then yes it's 70 for blake it would be 80 so if i but get to 10 humanity, i just want to be able to enjoy do i become a real boy thanks if i get to <laughs> if i get to 10 humanity uh, if you get to ten humanity, I can I can pull it up. Actually. Do I get a soul like the vampires and Buffy? Like, do I get? Um, okay. I think if you're if you're a thin blooded, you hit like ten. You you can become a you get a soul and become human again. Oh wow! Um, uh, I think it's up to the GM discretion what those rules are, but it is but it is a possibility. Well, Jay, okay, Jay's well. goal is to regain the ability to eat food. <laughs> Cause he's <laughs> well, you could you can buy it. You can buy that. With for that. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. If you <laughs> haven't bought if you haven't bought anything yet with your with your seven advantage points, you can buy for two dots. I think the ability to eat. Where are these advantage points out of my character sheet? Okay, so um, you have to put them in. But uh, if earlier I sent you that the yeah, option yeah. compilation in there under advantages, and merits, and stuff, there's mm. a thing. Um, okay. It's, it's, yeah, you know what we. I assume it's going to be a few weeks before we play again, so um, we w one of these days we'll sit down and I can talk you through it. <laughs> Humanity 10, here we go, this is what you want to get at. Um, boom. Alright. Blake just wants to not have the Sahara problem. Oh. That's totally fair. Humanity that 10 a... vampires can appear human in other regards. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I can't afford that. That's a lot of XP. So. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you guys if you guys continue to do this, mm -hmm. um, it's also possible that it can just be like a story reward if you guys continue down this path of 
basically secretly sabotaging any despicable missions that you have um, at the cost of potential social standing. And if you do it enough, I can also grant free points, um, mm -hmm. if it makes sense. So I'm just letting you know that because you've chosen this path on the, you know, Paragon re Renegade options, oh. you, you've you opened up the gateway where you could purchase, but if you keep doing this, then you get free prizes down the road. Gotcha. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. I mean, as long as I don't have to throw my root beer up in a back alley, I'm feeling pretty good. So. Mm -hmm. All right. Blake, yeah. just, Blake just wants uh. orgasms again. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Jay wants Blake to have orgasms again. <laughs> he probably, like, it would probably be to everyone's the real benefit. Humane act. As a consensualist, he is haunted by the bad sex that you guys had <laughs> at the beginning of this very long night. It like, has been. It has colored his whole evening. All of the you cool John Wick shit that he got up to, in the back of his mind, he's like, was it me, though? Like, could I have done more? <laughs> could I have done more? I tried everything. Uh, you I swear this never happens. <laughs> I did the shocker, the back rocker. I, I, I mean, I did everything. I was, like, in a pie-eating contest. I did everything. It's got, it's uh, can't, it can't be me, right? It's got to be the vampirism. I want to. I want to talk to Rain about it, but I'm too busy acting cool, so Rain doesn't think I'm uncool. <laughs> this is all going through his head as he just stoically stared out the window and listened to Metallica with you. <laughs> uh, actually, you know what? You guys, you guys did technically complete the session night. You did accomplish a mission. Yeah. Or you complete it like you the the quest is over kind of a thing other yeah. than just doing the round. So you will get an extra experience point as well. Oh nice. Yeah. Yep. So yeah. Mm. Alright. So you should be your your if you haven't spent any, you should be at eleven. If you have, then you'll have to figure that out on your own. <laughs> yep. Kit camera does a flashback cut to Jay army crawling through the puddles on top of the, the truck trailer and he's like, we should have been this wet earlier. Uh, it's just <laughs> like going through rained on. Oh, poor, poor baby. Yeah, rained on. And then poor we just baby. cut to a desert. <laughs> 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 and it's just, it's like, hold on, it's like one of those makeup commercials where like the alligators crossing the, the, the desert. <laughs> but yeah. it's just Blake just sitting in a chair like, hmm. <laughs> just looking so like, bored like and tumbleweed sad. goes by. But it's really uh, more like just cranky, like just absolute face scrunched up cranky. Mm. <laughs> it's it's Blake standing on what looks like a desert scene, but then the truck moves. And you realize it was just art painting on the back of the truck. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Like, no. uh, all right. Well, yeah, that, this is where we're at. <laughs> Fair enough. Maybe right. we'll live through next session. Maybe we won't. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Choices have been made. <laughs> all right. Well, we'll gorilla schedule it uh, as as available. So, well, thank you everybody who showed up at the very last minute. Um, we don't have a regular schedule for this. We play whenever all five of us are available on a Saturday night. Um, but we've really been enjoying it. This is our four, fourth session. Uh, we played the beginner box together as a one shot and decided, eh, let's just keep going. Uh, and so we did. Um, so looking forward to the next time we play. And um, I guess we're we're done for tonight. Yeah. 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 This is definitely our most harrowing session, I think. Yeah. All the other combats, we kind of just went ham on everybody. Mm -hmm. um, but this. Was, yeah. This one was tense. This was tense. This was tense. I, but I really loved it. This was the kind of stuff that like. The people that go in for like the superhero fantasy where they're like, ah, I want to be like so strong, ah, like the moral quandary cannot be defeated with strength. Right. You know what I'm saying? I love that stuff. I love like like Superman comics when Superman has to deal with like problems that like you just can't like Superman just can't solve it. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it was really that was really good. As soon as as soon as you yeah. said there was people in the back, I was like, there it is. <laughs> There it is. <laughs> and it just kept getting worse, too. Yeah, yeah. okay. I, was like, I knew it was going to be real bad. Like, I was like, oh, shit. Because, like, for, for context, for people who don't know, some of us play in several games with Scott as a DM. He does this shit to us constantly. <laughs> yep. As soon as we pulled up into the wait, wait station, I knew it was out of our hands. We were fucked. That was it. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. <laughs> it was over then. I wasn't worried about wait station, cop pulling us over. I was like, human threats, not a problem. But 
I, I figured there would be something going on. Humanity threats, like you uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, That's, and I, yeah. I knew the hitchhiker was a bad idea, even <laughs> before, <laughs> even before I had the methodology of James so in, It felt so yeah. in character for a yeah. for a tough guy, boomer, mobster type dude like Marsh, like who's probably had to hitchhike several times in his life. To be like, yeah. you gotta give back, right? You gotta give back to the yeah. system. Yeah. He was at least gonna like suss him out, and like when he rolled down the window and everything, he seemed cool, and it was just in a bad way. So it was like, yeah, fuck it, I'll help this guy. Yeah. But uh, he wasn't expecting <laughs> to get fucking jumped from behind. <laughs> and, then I'm taunt and then I'm taunting you guys with your own chronicle. That yeah. That's why I had you guys make them, so I could use them. <laughs> of course. Hey, Damn. hey, it's peak vampire. I respect yeah. it. <laughs> well, I'm glad that I'm able to bring that vampire experience. I've literally <laughs> run four sessions of this so far, ever in my life. No, it's been great, man. It's really been, mm -hmm. it's really been good. <sighs> the amount of times that Rain has been that guy and not been picked up. Rain was never going to stop for that guy. <laughs> right? <laughs> nope. Well, well Jay, Jay a, a mostly shut-in, watches a lot of media, right? And, like, it, there's never a good outcome of picking up, like, Hitchhikers except in porn. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, so, like, like it's ne there's never a story where they're like, and they lived happily ever after because he picked up the Hitchhiker. You know what I'm you, saying? You want to know how bad it is? Hold on. In the actual horror movie, The Hitchhiker, it's he's played by Sean Bean, so you know it's going to go real bad for everybody. I, oh, no. Yeah. yeah. Uh, all right, all right. Well, thank you all for playing, and we will figure this thank out. So running. far, no problem. So far, it's always been the third week. Like we go three weeks and then yeah. we play. I don't know if it'll happen again. It's just so coincidentally <laughs> that's how it's been. Mm. Um, it's because it gives us kind of enough time to go back and blah blah. But we'll figure it out because uh, I my schedule is chaos right now. Um. <laughs> If you guys have any suggestions or anything you want to throw at me, feel free to do so. Anybody who has questions or wants to work on character stuff at some point, we'll figure out some time to do it. Right. Otherwise, thank everybody for playing. Thank everybody for watching or to those who jumped in for the last. Minute, and hopefully everybody enjoyed it. All right, yeah. And, well, the, and the VODs for all this are over on YouTube. It's the same channel name as Twitch. So if you wanted to see the other stuff that we've done for Vampire, it's all over there on the, on the YouTube channel. <sighs> All right. See how we got to this disaster. Yeah, and, exactly. and Crash, Crash has got some other cool stuff to check out if you're new here. Yeah, if you like, if you like actual plays, this is about like ten thousand hours of actual plays. If, so. if, if you want to see Scott as the player, I believe that's Mondays. Oh yeah, that's yeah. Scott, yeah, Scott, Scott a great player. Goals. Scott a great player on Mondays. It's good stuff. All I right. wish I could see it. He wants to run it for us, so I can't. Oh, and they had that great deal, too. I, I did pick it up, actually. Oh, I haven't looked goodness. at anything, of course, but it was too good to pass up. So good, yeah. All right, hope everybody's a good night. I'm going to end the stream, and see you next night. time.